Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Hello, welcome back. I'm Laura Deleu and this, of course, is the Jewelry Maker Late Show. And tonight, I am joined by the one and only, the wonderful Deb Rudge. Evening. Evening. Are you all right? I am, yeah, are you? I'm very, very well, thank you. Marvellous. Are you ready for Christmas? For what? Christmas! <laughs> you know, that thing that we're doing today for the, you know, the Christmas market. Oh, this one, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for this one. You're ready for this one, but not the, the other actual. one I'm not, no. 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 The, the really real Christmas. Yeah, I'm ignoring that one at the minute. Why? I've been looking well, at food. I'm always looking at food, no. that's the problem. I ignore it until the 1st of December. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've ordered my husband's... I was going to say my husband's bits, but that sounds wrong, doesn't it, really? I've ordered my husband's bits. <laughs> I've ordered my husband's presents. However, um, the company have quite happily taken the money out of my account. <laughs> And I still have, as of yet, have had no acknowledgement that the items will be arriving or as oh, to whether... Not even this... like a confirmation? Well, they Thank confirmed you they order. took the money out, mm. yeah. Oh. <laughs> but they're all pre-orders, but they've not actually said when the release dates of things are. Ah. Uh, yeah. Like... They're, it's a scam! Lee is there straight away. It's a scam! It's a scam! They no, usually I, I say when the release date is, don't they, for stuff? Maybe I didn't read that part. <laughs> I've just looked at the pictures. I, just, I did, I did. I went, that's, that, that's, that looks nice, I'll have that. Yes, that, yeah, and there's, there's my car details done. Yeah, it probably is a scam in fairness. Anyway, hello and welcome. Hopefully you are already uh, preparing for Christmas, and if not, then it's all right, there's still time. There is still time. Um, in fact, I've got some little treats for you that I think you're going to love, including some star buys in this hour. This one in particular. Oh, now. Did I see these earlier when we were looking at stuff? I don't know. Do you wear glasses? No, but I sh well, I should. <laughs> it's just the way you wear. <laughs> um, I've had my eyes tested now. Have you? Yeah, I've got and? a trial for contact. Well, I, I, I said this eye feels a little bit wonkier than normal, and I've got astigmatism in this eye, which mm. is sort of double-sided astigmatism. My eyes are really funny shape, and I'm long and short-sighted in this eye, and apparently it's switched. Oh. So the fact that I'm not seeing it things properly is because my long-sighted bit is now short-sighted and my short-sighted bit is now... Oh, well, that's clever. And it does it every so many years. Clearly, this is the year for that. Now, talking of short-sighted, this is a short strand because it is a bracelet strand. But and this I is the Black Freshwater think Torture Pearls. I, I might have had this strand in a kit a little while ago. Quite possibly. Or one similar. And I absolutely loved it. Do you want a close-up? No. I know what they look like and they're divine. They are. They absolutely are. That is coming up a little bit later on and I've got another treat for you as well, which I'll show you very shortly. But let's get started, shall we? Do, 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 with 
amethyst. Nuggets. I love nuggets. At the moment, the nugget strand that I, I'm going to say attempting to wear, it is attempting. Yes, dear. Brand new, is it? All right, brand new. Take a look at this. The strand I'm attempting. No. Okay. Brand spanky new, £1.95. I've got a gorgeous nugget strand that I love, which is smoky quartz. We'll go beautifully mm. with this. I'm attempting to wear it because every time I put it on, a little one pulls it. Oh. But. Yeah, give up for a little while then. Uh, it, it's, it's been put to one side and it will be coming back out. Just mm. literally restrand it. Done. That's yeah. all I did. Restranded it. I've put um, little pearls in between. Oh, nice. That looks, yeah, that looks really nice. Oh. Well, whether Actually, you put those pearls, black ones would work. They would. They would indeed. £1.95, sorry. Oh, yeah, I like that. There we go. That would be nice. That's a little what section of this, yeah. a little section of the. Yeah. Just dot them through. Beautiful. Thelma, lovely. Have we, uh, have we got any pre orders open on the pearls or not? Okay. Now, there's only a limited amount of the pearls, so unfortunately, we can't actually do pre orders on them, but they are coming up very, very shortly, so don't worry about that. Loads of you on those lines for this one, which. A £1.95 you're going to be, aren't you? I mean, that's a fantastic price point. And it's a huge strand. We've got 84 centimetres in total for this one. So even if you are just adding to your stash, maybe get a couple. For £2? Bargain! Do you know what would be really nice? To get some of these and actually to do some Christmas decorations with them. Yeah. That'd little be little really garlands. Pretty. Because they're, they're, they've got those flat edges on. Yes. So the, the luster that you're getting off them is quite twinkly and star-like, isn't it? It is, you yeah. Why wrap them into stars? They'd look fab. Ooh, yeah, I like the mm. idea of that. Now, if you haven't already done so, get on those phone lines and grab hold of this, because already loads of you taking more than one. Janet's there with two, I've got Pamela there with two, I've got Mo and Cheshire there with two as well. Lots of you with it in your basket at the moment. Check those baskets out. They are fabulous. Now, I'm going to leave that there with you. Next up... I have got, oh, I love these ones. In fact, if you've got a hold of that strand just, then grab a hold of this as well because they will go beautifully together. The contrast of the nuggets and these. Deb, mm. what do you think? I love those. I love fluorite. I think the colours in fluorite uh, are just, they're fantastic. They're, they're soft so, and soothing. Yeah, they are actually. Mm. Soft and soothing. You do kind yeah. of look at them and just sort of melt into them, don't mm. you? You just go, oh, they're so pretty. I love those, those turquoisey greens. Yes. Very much like, tur almost uh, turquoisey cri Christmas lights. Yeah. In fact, let me just grab that other strand back. There are still a few of these available, by the way. Um, yeah, still got a lot of you to check out. Those two together. Yep. Beautiful. Mm. Intersperse those together. It would be lovely. Loving that look. Do you know, a pair of earrings wouldn't go miss with these. No, I was just thinking that. Just studs. Or even dangly ones. Yeah, like just got. little... Hmm. Well, just one on a head, um, head pin popped onto a shepherd's hook. Beautiful. Nice. You turn them into a brooch? The fluorite turn yeah. them into a brooch. You could. Would you have to, yeah, maybe you have to do them as little drops. Yeah, you could put them on... Um, like one of those kilt pins. Yes. You know we do the kilt pins, yeah. yeah. Mm. One of each colour, maybe. That'd be nice. That would be nice. I love fluorite because it, is, it has got such a wonderful soothing colour to it, mm. whether it's the greens or the blues or the um, purples or the whites. They, they've just got this... I don't know what it is about it, but it's just beautiful. Oh, and especially when you get the sort of the, the amalgamation of the two. So, like, on this one, you've got a little bit of purple and you've got the green there as well. Yeah. Love it when it does that. Yeah. Put these with some quartz as well. They're very similar colours, if you think about it. So you've got your oh. amethysts. Go on. I, am I going mad? They've got little circles on them. On the recording. Let's have a look. Oh, it's, it's a reflection. reflection. I am going mad. Yeah. Oh, no, see, <laughs> yes, it is. The yes, you are. Yes. I am. It is the reflection. I can see circles. What's that all about? Are you sure you don't need your eyes testing? 
No, I've got my glasses. I just don't wear them. <laughs> you said you don't wear glasses. <laughs> I don't wear them. <laughs> oh, you've got them, but you don't wear them. It's like me, that is. <laughs> £9.95. Whether you're seeing circles or not seeing circles, they are definitely rounds that you are getting in this particular strand. And they are stunning, oh beautiful in every single way. Almost like little crystal balls, aren't they? They are, yeah. I can yeah. tell your future with them. You need to wear your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna leave that there with you. Good luck, my lovelies. <laughs> now I have got some gorgeous girl jump rings. Ah. Right. These perfect size for chain mail. Perfect size for the fluorite if you wanted to actually have them as spacers. Yeah. That'd These nice. are brand new as well. So they're actually not gold, they're gold coloured brass. So they're really flexible, very easy to work with. If I do that, you should be able to, there you go, you can see it opens quite easily. Remember, don't do it that way, do it, do it the way that I've just done it, which is side to side. Now, you've got a hundred in a pack. One whole hundred in a pack. How would you feel if I gave it to you for a penny each? Wow. One penny each. That's a really good price. That is amazing, isn't it? It is. And these look brilliant if you just put one, so cut a chain yeah. and just put one in yeah. to the chain and then cut the chain again and put another one in. And it's almost like a little resting place, seeing circles, <laughs> a little resting place for your eye on the chain you when you're circles. looking round. It's really nice. The theme for the day is can you see circles? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going oh, to dear. bring we had right we had a moment of rubbing oh that was really good though but there's a reason I'm, I'll explain it all later the rubbing and everything um, it wasn't actually me doing the rubbing this time oh for no, goodness it sake me. it's on the run but if you had these as little maybe three or four of them <laughs> in between <laughs> yeah that would look really nice it would these are Botswana by the way they are coming up a little bit later on but just imagine a few of these in a row. Do, 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 do. Three or four of them. I think four actually, although three is my do magic three. number. Three. It is three supposed to be everything in an odd number, isn't it? Mm. Which is more. Yeah. It, I was going to say asymmetrically pleasing, but it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it is. Not because asymmetrically. It gives you a centre point then. Yes. Yeah. It does indeed. But I want to come in a little bit later on. Um, they are going to go very quickly, just like these are as well. Lots of you, again, taking more than one. I don't blame you at all. I'll be doing exactly the same. I've got Collector in Bar uh, Bedfordshire, even, with four. I've got Mo in Cheshire with three. I've got Anne-Marie in Merseyside with two. Well done to all of you, my darlings. And it's so nice to see reoccurring and regular customers back again. These are fantastic prices, though, aren't they? We've got a message with Anita. Hold on. Do you want to read that, or shall I get my oh. glasses out? <laughs> Anita is watching the show from her balcony in Tenerife. Oh. Great show, great hosts. Well. Rub it in. Rub it in. We've been talking about Anita in the holiday. Yeah, we have. Anita, why did you not take us? I'm small enough to fit in luggage. You would fit into a suitcase, actually, wouldn't you? It was quite funny because I've been asked for my measurements for um, a costume. I will not say why at the moment. And I went, yeah, I'm a size 10. And then took my measurements and went, yeah, that was a bit... Uh... That was a bit optimistic, wasn't it? <laughs> Been convinced I'm a size 10? I'm not a size 10. But I, I could fit in a big size luggage. Short, but wide. <laughs> Hand luggage, that's Short. what I'd fit in. Hand, Hand luggage, luggage. Yeah. Um, I'd need a big trunk. A, no, you wouldn't. I don't think I'd fit into a proper, li like, a suitcase. I wouldn't fit into hand luggage, that's for sure. That's because you're tall. Yeah. But you are tall. Take a lot of folding up. So today's themes are contortion <laughs> and seeing circles. Anita, I hope you have an amazing time in Tenerife, by the way, my lovely. Um, let us know how it goes. Now, moving swiftly on from hand <laughs> luggage and Tenerife. I feel quite jealous now. I know. Watching from Holiday the balcony. <laughs> and there we are in a big jumpers going, oh, it's so cold today. Wait, I spent the day in my coat. <laughs> Literally. Now, I am going to bring to you, put that there, you need to see this. You can probably see it from over there, even, Deb, can you see this from over there? 
I can, even without my glasses. Even without them. <laughs> you don't need your glasses to see this because it is massive. You'd need Spink. whole hand lag luggage, luggage for this. <laughs> You are looking at 160 carats of red jasper. It's a faceted pear cabochon. 40 by 60 millimetres. It's ma it is massive. Mm. If you wanted it as a pendant, that would be a massive mahamoth pendant. Mahamoth. <laughs> I'm wondering, would, could you make this into a collar or a choker? Would it? A big wide collar, yeah. A big yeah. wide collar. Now, we've done yeah. everything so far under five pounds. Oh, sorry, under a tenner, under £10, because one went for £9.95, yeah. didn't it? Yes. Yeah. So we decided, or Phil did, £3.95. That's enormous! It's looking like chocolate to me as well. Don't make me hungry. Do you know, the, with the amber, that would look fantastic as a big drop pendant. Can I just bring what? the amber on a second? What? Because it would. It absolutely would. In fact, if I bring the necklace on... Oh, hello. Oh, I'm throwing amber everywhere. I do apologise. Here we go. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, nice. That is gorgeous. And that's all you'd need to do is just that. Really simple. Would you wire wrap it then and just attach it? I or? would glue, with a really strong glue, yeah. um, a ribbon cord end that's been flattened out. Yeah. So flatten it out, you get a little flat sheet of metal with a loop on the end. Yeah. Just glue that on and then you can just put a jump ring. Brilliant. One of the big jump one rings One of the big ones that we had, yeah. Yeah. Or three or five of those at the front and then have your pendant coming off there. Do you know, I like the idea actually of five because then you'd have a, mm. sort of a, a, almost almost like a gold section. Almost like a little section. statement yeah. section in the centre, yeah. yeah. That would be really beautiful. It would. So... £3.95. Again, lots of you getting more than one of these. Collector in Gloucester, she's got three. Well done, my darling. Collector in Lincoln, she's got two. And Helen and Chris in Norfolk have got two as well. Love it. In fact, you know, we've just done the amber, haven't we? So shall I just mm. bring that on now? <laughs> Can you actually do it? Brilliant. Saying that, and then Phil's going, actually... There is still some of them available. So we have got nuggets, gorgeous amber nuggets. I need some of these actually. £14.95. That is brilliant. Phil, darling, how many have we got? No, I mean, how many in quantity have we got available? Oh, okay. We've got about 100 of these available. Look how many you're getting. I know it's, it's all in good seeing it on a strand, isn't it? But you don't mm. really comprehend just how many you are getting until you see them all laid out like this. That is absolutely stunning. That is gorgeous. Uh, Phil, my darling, I'm going to ask you to do me a favour. Could you write this code down for me? Thank you. I like the stories behind Amber because they associate it with the ocean quite a lot, don't they? If you ever, I've reread Hans Christian, is it Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid? Yes, I think it might be. Yes, yes. because in that it mentions, oh, there's a bit of my hair. Oops. Um, it mentions the, the palace that she lived in had um, amber panels. Oh, really? Under the sea, yeah. Because obviously, it, um, a Baltic it, amber, yeah. you, you dig it out of the, the, the water, yeah, don't you? fish it out of the sea, um, yeah. So it's it seems yeah to work, and one of the nice. stories behind it was um, when you read sort of the, the Little Mermaid and various thing, various stories of the mer mer people. Um, they used to see because it floats. Yeah. They used to say if you saw it, it would be the palaces under the ocean had been <laughs> smashed. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah. yeah. Lots of different mythologies around it, but there's lots of associations with mer people and and uh, amber. I've not heard either of those. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. Cool. It had amber bits in it. <laughs> um, the story, by the way, lasted five seconds before she started to try and eat the book. <laughs> but I got as far as that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she likes paper. She really likes paper oh, a bit too I much. I used to do that. I had paper bookmarks, and I used to sit and chew the bookmark and realise that I'd eaten half of it when yep. I was reading the book. Yep. Yep. Every time I try and read to her. 
Um, but that story, I got to page, I think it was page two, where it was mentioning about the, um, the palace that she lived in. And that mentioned amber. And of course, you've got the amber rooms as well, which is um, the Prussian amber rooms, which were big panels of amber, which vanished during uh, World War II when they tried to hide it, and then the Germans re that found it underneath canvas, a whole lot oh. of things. Very descriptive, isn't it, that? Hold up things. things. Um, say that again. <laughs> no, I'd love to. <laughs> Phil says, have you ever worked for the History Channel? No, but I'd love to. I love history. Love it. I love it. If anybody from the History Channel is watching, I would quite happily do a documentary about anything in the, in the past. <laughs> Well, um, Mike just mentioned something which I won't, won't mention. Uh, my granddad was there in one, so... Eh. Eh. Now, moving swiftly on, I have got... Did you say... Tw oh, there we are. I was there going, I only got to 24. <laughs> I got to 24, what? Right. We've just seen some gorgeous fluorite rounds, haven't we? Which were beautifully clear and, and very crisp in the look. I think this is still completely the opposite. Still got the gorgeous colours, but slightly frosted. Almost glacial. But they are, aren't they? Mm. Yes. It's like they're standing in a studio in Redditch without the coat on. <laughs> feeling a little bit <laughs> little crisp. frosted around the edges. A little bit frosty, a little bit crisp. They are gorgeous though, aren't they? So if you want to go for a slightly different look, still got the same gorgeous colours. In fact, it almost amplifies the colours. Yeah, I was thinking they're really intense, aren't they? I'm just going to bring the balls back, because we all like balls. They were very, very popular. But can you see the difference? So your balls are crisp and clear, whereas your nuggets, they've got even more pop of colour, but they're slightly they frosted. Have. Yeah. In fact, this combination of the two are really They'd, nice. Yeah, they would work well together. They would indeed. So if I gave you this strand with the colours going pop, 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 what would you do with it? Um, How about we do it under fiver? It's creeping in. Wow. £3.95. What would you do with your nuggets? I'd probably um, put little chunks of chain in between each of them and rosary link with chunks of chain. Ooh. So that is my favourite thing to do. But, and because these are really irregular, if you do multi-layers, it's just really informal and relaxed and just a nice thing to wear all the time. Just pop it over your head, like the same sort of length as yeah. the nuggety necklace. Yes. Um, I'm actually very drawn to the green and I'd be very tempted to wear my nuggets on. I'd be very tempted to bring the amethyst and pop the amethyst with Ooh, the, yeah. the pop of the green here. Yeah, that's nice. Actually, you could use them in um, like a tree of life ornament Ooh. with those Ooh, greens. Yeah. You've got a lot of greens on there, haven't you? We do, and we if, do. And if you put the, the lilacs and the purple tones in as well, it's almost like blossom then in the tree. Oh, like cherry blossom. Oh, yes. Really pretty. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, I do like the idea of that. I love, I love the irregularity of them as well. There are some that are almost rounds, and then you've got ones that are completely just not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best description. <laughs> what do they look like? I don't want to say pebbles, because that just, again, pebbles are all, they're all different. Well, I suppose, yeah, pebbles. Yeah. There we are, pebbles. Peb oils. They are gorgeous. I have to say, the green, I don't know what it is about the greens, it's almost, it's got a glow to it, hasn't it? It has, yeah. Oh. It is, yes. Um, Phil's just said it, it looks almost like a light dioxide. It has got that intensity of green, hasn't it? it yeah, I was thinking as well, it's almost got the look of um, peridot, because that's got quite a glow yes. to it as well, hasn't it? Yeah, peridot. it does. Absolutely does. Love the look of those. £3.95 nice. as well. Gorgeous. Anita, well done to you. A lovely Heather, well done to you. Collector in Bristol, check your card out. Now, ooh, we had a bit of a, uh, a look at these earlier. We did. Well, in fairness, it wasn't a look. It was more like, ooh, <laughs> that one, that one. And this was the one we were going, that one, that one at. Yeah. 
How amazing one. is this? That looks <laughs> even better in here than it did in the corridor. I know. Mm. I know. I know, I know, I know. I oh. love this. Of course, awesome. you've probably guessed it's Labradorite. And it is actually 330 carats, a smooth, multi-shaped cabochon assortment. So you may get more than you're seeing here. You may get slightly less. It all depends on the size. Now, each and every one is going to be individual and unique. But look at the colours. Of course, it's <laughs> Madagascan. I mean, when you see colour like this, you know it's Madagascan. Because it, I don't know what it is. Again, it's, it's, there's something so vivid about it. It's got a great back yeah. colour to it as well. I mean, a lot of Labradorite is slightly greyish, isn't it? It's more, got more of an overtone of grey. Whereas with the Madagascan, you've got this... It's almost a, a peacock green as a background. And then you get that flash of colour. Ooh, hello. Orange is in this one. Mm. Oh. Do you see what I mean? Even the base colour of this lab... Look how yeah. it glows. Yeah. It's not it looks, your average Labrador, even, is it? Even when you've got it right round on the side, you've then got a bright green line just... Mm -hmm. Hugging it. Ooh. Dragon's eye. Nice. £20.95. Not today. No way. Can we just show you the back as well? Because the, the colour goes all the way to the back. So that is the back of your cab. So you don't actually have to cover the back if you don't want to. No. They are pretty enough to show off, aren't they? £12.95. Beautiful, beautiful. I would definitely get your hands on these, especially if you're a wire worker. Perfect for wrapping. They've got a great size to them. Wow. Did you see that violet colour down the back of the one in your right hand? Oh! Oh my goodness. They are Yummy. gorgeous. Oh, I want these. <laughs> yeah. Now there's loads of them in baskets that I've not yet checked out. That, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you, you are more than entitled to do that. I'll just warn you though, uh, they might not be there when you uh, come to check them out later. So that's why we always we always do rec Ooh, look at that. Look. <gasps> we always do recommend that you check out as soon as you possibly can. Oh my life! It's like looking at the aurora borealis, isn't it? Yeah. Magnified oh, though. So I was going to say, isn't it supposed to be that you don't actually get to see them quite as vividly as you see in photographs? You're very lucky if you get to see yeah. them like that. Yeah. Oh, goodness wow, me. It is just lush. Sorry, I'm just a little bit in love right now. These two. These two. I'd, I would just, I'd seriously buy them just purely to look at them. I wouldn't yeah. do anything with them. I'd just go, oh. Yeah. They are just really nice to look at and, and to just wonder at the miracle yeah. that is Labradorite. Or carry them around. Mm. I, always, I know it sounds silly, but it's quite nice. I do find it quite nice to carry a, a stone in your pocket. Yeah. Because you never, you, sometimes you forget... Obviously, if it goes in the wash, then it's not necessarily a good thing. I mean, you clean your stone, but it depends on what the stone is. Um, it can also destroy your washing machine, as I found out one time with my lamp right. <laughs> that was not good. That was really no. not good. I managed to get it out just before, but I heard this cracking as it was hitting the washing machine. I was like, Wah! Uh, But it's quite nice to pop your hand in your pocket and just randomly go, oh, hello. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite comforting. There we are. Now... Uh, do you know what, Phil? That doesn't surprise me. Mm. There we are. I'm not going to recommend what Phil's just said because it's, pro it's, it's probably not advised. Well, I suppose it doesn't make any difference, but I can't say it. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It could be classed as being medical advice, which it's clearly not. <laughs> <sighs> now, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to repeat what Phil's just said about that. The original one was about placing it on your skin um, after being out for too long in the sun. There we are. 
Now, this is Prionite. More nuggets. I love the nuggets. They'd look fab with the amethyst. Yes. So if you want the amethyst, that was one pound ninety-five, wasn't it? One ninety-nine. Mm. One pound ninety-five for the amethyst, and two pound ninety-five for the prionite. Well, that's good. It is. And Pretty Night's really lovely. It's one of those gemstones yeah. that you don't get to see very often. And when you do, just grab it because it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's a great stash piece, especially if you are doing Tree of Life. Because it's a gorgeous green that looks perfectly beautiful with all kinds of different yeah. colours. Yeah. Or tiara twist in with flowers and yeah. use this for foliage and things, brooches. I'm going to show you what I've got coming up a little bit later, mm. which I think will go nice. beautifully with it. Yeah. Talking about flowers. Yeah. Although, in fairness, yeah, that perfect. reminds me more of cherry blossom, and the colour of this is almost bordering towards autumnal, so it's starting to. Or spring. Or spring, yes. Like. Um, there we are. Cherry blossom yeah. will work with that then. Yeah. I would actually like with this one to do a cuff. So, quite a chunky. Mm. So you've got several strands, yeah. just so it's almost like a stack. We've of had some knot. really nice, um, like wide uh, fasteners. Yes. Clasps. Clasp. That's the word. Mag magnetic one with about twelve different Ooh. strands. You could do it with this. That'd be really good. That would be beautiful. Yeah, really good with that. Yes, that would be beautiful. Oh, I love the look. £2.95, grab them while you can. Well done to everyone. Do you know what? It's start by time already. Talking of bracelets, perfect size for a bracelet is this pearl strand so this is a bracelet strand and for obvious reasons it's the right size for a bracelet and they are black pearls and i do believe was i with you when you had the kit because i'm sure i've seen yeah, these in the kit before maybe it could have been i love the way you're squinting at me i'm trying I to can't remember. Quite remember i can't what remember you look like yeah <laughs> Who was it? I oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have seen them in a, in a kit before. Yeah, we had these and we had uh, silver ones as well in the same kit. Yes, I think it was with me. Mm, they were nice. How dare you forget me? Well, you didn't remember that it was me. Might have been. Completely. Yeah. Maybe. My brain's <laughs> useless though. Black freshwater cultured pearls, button beads, these are. So these are stunning because you've got a little flat section on one side and then you've got a dome section on the other. So they're perfect for a bracelet. They're perfect as well if you want to flatten them out and put them maybe in a row. Yeah. Also, if you put them uh, flat sides together, yes. they look really nice. Oh, yeah. Almost like a little barrel. Now we're going to do a really cheeky price. Take a look at this. <gasps> Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Good grief. What it, what it, what, what? What it, what? <laughs> I'm going to stand for that. <laughs> Are you? I am. It's, I'm sitting down, so it's not like I can be, I've got a bit shorter. I was going to say, there's not that much difference, really. Don't. Just don't. Oh, no, you're just really cute, aren't you? Hand luggage. Hand luggage, yeah. <laughs> You're not a trunk. Fun size, that'll be me. I'm a fun size bag of chocolates. <laughs> I eat enough of them in fairness. Three pounds and ninety-five for the most amazing strand. That is less than five pounds for a pearl bracelet done. Well, you've actually got more than you would need for a bracelet on there, I think. 18 centimetres. Mm. Because you need to put a clasp on. That's true. Nikki's so message... Sorry. You've got enough for earrings as well. Ooh. Mm. Uh, Nikki says, I have these pearls. Gorgeous. Yeah, they are. 
They look really, really silky and smooth they do, actually. and glossy. And they've got a really lovely sort of a, the slight ones that have got more of a purple overtone, and other ones mm. got this gorgeous green and some green, blue yeah. overtone as well. They're lovely. Yeah. They're very classy, aren't they? They are. I think they're my my favourite like bracelet length pearls that we do. Yeah. Definitely. Would you put them with gold or silver? Ah. Uh, this is where I you go against probably, and say copper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would above. probably put them with. Um, silver or actually they'd look fab with the gunmetal yes mm. yeah gunmetal hematite -y. yeah yes. yes 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 they are absolutely stunning all you need to do if you've never tried this before please do join us for the first time that would be lovely to see you here um 0800 6444655 or of course you can go to the website which is all the w's i love that all the w's all the w's all the w's in the entire what, what, world what? yeah <laughs> actually yeah otherwise you'd say three w w's yeah, you can't w's. i can't even say it wobble use wobble use <laughs> only wobble use three wobble use wobble you wobble you wobble you what <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Or of course just ring the number, which is probably easier all round in fairness. Um, collect, so in Wil uh, Lincolnshire, sorry, not even, see so you getting me in Wilkinshire. No, Lincolnshire, goodness me. Well done to you, Linda, well done to you, Nottinghamshire. Patricia in Swansea, well done to you. Swansea. Uh, Carol, well done to you there as well. Mo, you've got two of these. I don't blame you again. Fabulous I'd price point. These. Definitely. Because, £3.95. Yeah. Boom! And they're such a uh, brilliant size and colour. Yes. I love them. Mark says, beautiful array of colours for something described as black. This mm. is the thing that I always say. We do class them, well, we call them black pearls, but of course, if you look at most things in nature that are classed as black, they're not actually black. They're like they, blackberries, aren't they? Yes, they're not black. Blackbirds are not black either. They're, they've no. got the slight, it's a sort of greeny tinge to yeah. it, isn't there? Yeah. With, and ravens as well, slight green tinge to them, but they are stunning. Got another message come through as well. Nicola in Greater Manchester. I'm actually pearl knotting these in a bracelet. Ah, yes, makes it even longer. enough left for earrings. Yep, definitely. Thank you, my lovely. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. In fact, I'm just going to bring some pearls that are coming up a little bit later on because I think these two together, beautiful. Yeah. So these are lavender pearls, one of my star buys coming up a little bit later on. If you manage to get a hold of those, definitely get yourself these black fresh water cultured pearls because these are stunning. These are coming up at 10 to 9? 10 to 9. Love it. Love it, love it. Now, next up, we'll put them back. What shall we do? Ooh, how about these? Some puppy hearts in bronzite. Oh, we don't see bronzite very often. We don't, do we? It's a no. shame because it's a lovely stone. It is. I love the fact it's got what I would class as grain. Yeah, it is like a wood grain. Yeah, like a wood grain. Yeah. So you take a look at it, you can see, well, you, see, you can see it perfectly. It's almost like a wood grain or, I want to say granite, but it's pr probably not the right term. It's got texture to it, hasn't it? It has, yeah. I love it because I love wood and I love stone. Yeah. And you don't generally get the two together. You either have one or the other, don't you? So you yes. have these shops that sell wood furniture and you don't yeah. have wood and stone together very often. Or you have stone shops that sell all granites and various yeah. things. Yeah. But to have the two together like this, those two textures. Yeah, it is quite different. And it looks amazing with um, smoky quartz. Yes. Because you've got the same sort of tones in there. Yeah. I love mm. smoky quartz. I do love smoky quartz. Oh, that's a good point. Now, Phil's just said he'd like to see it with the lapis. Actually, that'd be quite nice together. Mm. So, uh, lapis is coming up a little bit later on. I've got a whole set of lapis. Uh, but look at the two together. Even if you go with one that's got more of the... Um, the calcite look coming through. See, they're quite, it's quite masculine and feminine at the same time. You've got the hearts running through as a theme, and then you've got that wonderful, almost a wooden element to it as well. It's, it's yeah. got something you can use on. So, oh, hold on, hold on. 
<laughs> Let me try those two together. Or even the amber. Yeah. Oh, or the Botswana. Yeah. I've got hiccups now. Have you? I have. Is that my fault? I don't know how you generally get yeah. hiccups, but aren't you supposed to, like, scare somebody to get rid yeah, of them? Yeah, get rid of them. Yeah. Let's see what the price is, then. That's not scare <laughs> me. That's a really amazing price. £8.95. That is absolutely stunning for what you're getting. What would you do if I gave you these? I'm thinking three drops as an earring. Three drops as an earring? Yeah, I'd push it. Nice. I'd push it to three. Mm. Rosary link them or yep. hang them. Yeah. Yep. Nice. They're, they're going to be good for um, flowers as well. Oh, because yes. they're just little heart-shaped petals. Yep, yeah, that's true. Got another message come mm. through from Julie Susie What's It, um, who says those bronzite hearts are luscious. Could you put them with carnelian? Yes. Perfect with carnelian, yeah. In fact, if I bring, Perfect. I know it's not the same colour, and I don't have any carnelian with me, but I'm going to put the amber right next to it, so it's, it's got an orangey tone to it. So yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Mark has also messaged to say, this was the first strand of bronzite I bought. It is such a beautiful stone. I developed quite a love for it. It is, it is mm. a stunning stone. It really is. It is. I'd like this as a stretchy bracelet. I'm still going along with this. I'm still missing my stretchy bracelets. I don't, <laughs> it's there. It's coming back every single time. I just want a stretchy bracelet in that. <laughs> just want a stretchy bracelet. It really would, not it? They're nice, actually, if you put them pointy ends together. Um, with a little, little bow ties. Yeah, little four millimetre gemstone in between. Little bow ties, yeah. Do you Bones. know what I would like to attach them to? What, your bow ties? Yes. Mm. Penguins! Oh. Not real life penguins, yeah. but if you did a wire work penguin and a little bow tie. Yeah. Or a snowman. Yeah. That'd be nice. Cute. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Penguins or snowman, perfect for them. There we are. Oh, hello, <laughs> I didn't realise I've got a tree behind me. Hello. <laughs> I didn't even know. That's really bad, isn't it? That is. Oh, I need my glasses yeah. on. Yeah. I thought my eyes were bad. But I know. Really. I know. It's just this one. <laughs> now, let me bring you this next item, which you were going to love. Take a look. There is an argument going on at the moment in my ear. I don't even know what the argument's about. I, no, I missed the beginning of the I've, argument. What, Leah, what's this argument about? Yeah. Yeah. Right. OK, so apparently there's an owl on the tree. The tree that I failed to notice was behind <laughs> me. And <laughs> Phil wanted this owl to be brought into the shot. <laughs> However, it had not been referenced until the moment where I've just done so. So there was no point of doing so. And Phil is not in charge of um, the, what comes on the screen. He's in charge of prices. And the battle is still <laughs> raging in my ear right now. So let's just have a look at the, the strand that we have. This <laughs> is apparently, and again, I'm not in charge of what's on the screen, but I would like to look at the strand. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so this is 58 carats of Neon Appetite, which are in plain rondelles. We don't see plain rondelles in this very often. No. And they're a really big size. They are. Well. They are substantial. Yeah. I wonder if you can get away Ooh, with bronze like hearts. Ooh, no. Yes. Ooh. Yes. But. Ooh, Ooh yes. With the black pearls. Mmm, that's nice. Appetite is a really unusual stone to get a hold of, particularly the Neon Appetite. I've got a real love for the Neon Appetite. It's stunning. Yeah. It's stunning, it's stunning, it's stunning. Only a little bit of heat is given to these, and that is it. And for a gemstone that's got such an unusual, really vivid colour, that is amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. And the fact you've got the sizeable rondelles here, again, is something really magical. Popping with silver, as you can see here, it looks gorgeous. You've got that silver colour effect um, to the little spaces. But with gold, it's even more luxurious. In it fact, is. if it's I bring really these... Rich. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Imagine that. Bam, yeah. bam, bam. Do you know, I've never thought about it before, but actually the fluorite um, rounds that we had... Oh, the balls! The balls! Seeing circles! 
um, would work because they had a lot of turquoisey tones. Oh, I like that. Love. This is made for each other. Yeah. I've they never, are on, I've mate. never even considered putting them together before, but that really works. I'm still wanting to put the gold in there. Yeah. I am yeah, still yeah. wanting to do that. Yeah. Sorry, tree. <laughs> if you're hearing jangling in the background, it's because I just caught the tree again. Santa's coming. Yay! <laughs> oh, dear. So, if you got a hold of the balls earlier on, get a hold of this and definitely get yourself the um, authenticity card as well really really w worth getting a hold of 25 pence extra that's it really um, 11 pounds 95 for the entire strand yeah that's really good gorgeous it is one of those as a ring yeah can you imagine it's just gonna have that that shock of color would you have it that way? Yeah, flat, you would. Yeah. You would have it, yeah. So I'd, I'd make a ring shank and then I'd use a head pin to attach the gemstone onto the ring shank. Ah. Brilliant. Now, next up. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, multicolored aquamarine. I was eyeing this up earlier on. I really love this because I think this is. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to say earthy because obviously it's aquamarine so it's more of your sea colours but it's really quite earthy it is quite earthy it's got that wonderful it's almost a grounded feeling to it mm. because you have got the greens coming through a little bit more i love the greens in mm. in aquamarine i i if i if i'm choosing between a blue or a, a aquamarine with a greenish tone i'll go for the greenish one brilliant i'm just thinking about the blue Ooh. I was thinking this with the bronze eye, which would look beautiful, but the uh, Botswana eye gate that's coming yeah. up later on. Yeah. Yes. Very classy. Yes. Oh my goodness, I love that combination. Oh, I love those Botswanas. I just you did rub them against your face. So if you see I makeup do. on the Botswana, I do apologise. Yeah, they have they have gone over both my face and Deb's <laughs> face. And our necks. Yes. And our necks. So and, they will smell. And your nose. And my, it had to go on my nose. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't go for the nose. I might try it later. The nose is amazing. Yeah, okay. Now, another message go. comes through uh, from Anita in Cornwall. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, jewellery maker. This is Ted. <laughs> you can carry on with that one. <laughs> After this rubbing is, that one in again. <laughs> this is Tenerife calling. I have the scores from the Tenerife jewellery. What's that? 10 for the show. Still on the Still balcony. Still on the balcony. How warm is it over there? Just out of curiosity. How warm is it? It's going to be amazing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. A friend of mine was in Italy last week and he was swimming in the sea. And it was raining Just uh, watch the price drop. The temperatures Not over here miffed. can't soar. The temperatures <laughs> here are quite low. So are the prices. £6.95 for your multicoloured aquamarine. I can't believe. I can't believe we're here and not in sunny Tenerife. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it? It is. It is a shame. Yeah. I do like it here, but... Oh, I love it here. I do. You know. But I want a holiday. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really want a holiday. £6.95 and you are getting aquamarine with those fantastic colours. You've got the greens coming through, the blues coming through, the yellows coming through there as well. Beautiful, beautiful, almost an earthy colour that you're getting, which is gorgeous. Great with the Botswana, which is coming up a little bit later on. Don't worry, you're not going to get the strand that's been rubbed on my nose and forehead <laughs> and Deb's forehead and neck. You might get it. I mean, if you want it, you just request it. Yeah, special request for that. Yeah. yeah. Guess what perfume we're wearing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, another message come through. Uh, don't we have still yes. of Lara rubbing gemstones on her face somewhere? Yes, yes we, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. Let's, let's forget that. I don't know what, what they're stored under. They, they are there. I think one's called a party thing, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember. Where there's some kind of... Or was that the horns? Was... Mm. They were attempted to be deleted off the system and apparently they renamed them as something party. 
Oh, to hide them. To hide them. So there is still somewhere on the system a road me <laughs> rubbing. I think it's a strand of green, green um, opal on my nose. <laughs> it really is. Just, I mean, try it. It is you nice. Don't have to. Yeah, it's a it nice, nice feeling. Yeah. I find it that way anyway. Just, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's very relaxing. Exactly. Mm. Particularly just, just on the bridge of your nose, isn't it? <laughs> It's just, it's nice. There we are, done. Now, moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tree, again, I'm sorry. Uh, now, ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Labradorite. Labradorite. This is a stunning strand. Take a look at this. Natural Madagascan. Look at the colours coming through. Aren't they gorgeous? That Ooh, is what I want to see. Hello. I'm just, I'm, I'm mesmerised by the colours. You know when we saw the um, the slabs that we had earlier on? Yes. You're still getting the colours that you're you seeing are. in the slabs here. Yeah, you are. How good is this? I'm loving the faceting on these as well. Yes. Because you've got the sparkle as well as the colour. Well, that's it. You've, every single one of these is, is faceted. So you've got so many facets on each and every one of these surfaces that when the colour comes out, you're very right. So each of those little surfaces will light up when the light hits it. So you're getting twinkle as well as the colour. Yeah. So if you want a party gemstone, this is the party. And it means you're not going to be standing there on your own, not talking to anyone, because they'll see that and come and talk to you. That's, yeah, that's a good point. Mm. I have had um, people talk to me randomly yeah with um when i've got my labradorite ring on yeah and you're you're there going doo, 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 and all of a sudden someone's <laughs> i really like your yeah. ring it's, it's nice though it's, it's really good. lovely it really lovely really good because then you know you've got something that's very special yeah. 11.95 as well i mean that is special straight away even if you only use a couple of these on another piece of jewelry that you're making or i don't know pair of earrings ring necklace Restrand it. I would be so tempted to pop this along with. I'm going to get them. Yep. The pearls. Yeah. So the pearls are still available, by the way. So this is your bracelet strand of pearls. Make it go that little bit further by adding some labradorite. Again, you could just put one of the labradorites in the centre, maybe. Yeah. Could. Beautiful. Get the one that's got the most vivid blue or the most um, Whichever bright Whichever colour blue. Yeah. just jumps out yeah. at you. Yeah. Yeah. Kimberly's got two of these. Gorgeous, aren't they? Definitely Beautiful. stash build on this one, especially at £11.95. Also, if you want to go for more of a softer look by putting it with pearls. Yeah. How beautiful is this? Yeah. How beautiful is, is this? That is gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Mm. I love that look. It's got, it's got a frosted kind of feel to it there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wintery. It just softens it all down. Mm. But it would also look great with uh, amber. I, I think Labradorite's really clever because it goes with anything. It does. Because it has so many colours within it. Yeah. That's what I love about it. I love it. Now, is that time already? Goodness me, I'm going to leave that there for a moment because I've got a, an amazing start by for you that you are just going to want to grab. It is gorgeous Morganite. I am adoring these raw, I call them raw, rough. Nuggets.
Do you see what I mean? They've got this. They've got a wonderful element to them, don't they? They're like um, icebergs, aren't they? Or, mm. or just like a, a pink, uh, like a granita or something that is just sparkling and icy and frosty and. I think it takes it more to nature as well, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah, because it gives you that that much more uh, much. It, it's just a much more natural and um, almost immediate way to see a gemstone, and you can imagine actually picking these up and finding them, um, putting them with pearls or, or a gemstone that's really glossy and shiny works really well because you've got that contrast yes they're it's, a lovely it's, color as well it reminds me of i know it's going to sound really silly but sugar cubes yeah yeah it's that kind of because it's got that little sparkle that yeah. that frostiness about it yeah or druze or druzy druzy yeah yeah and i i, I just I don't know. I, d I really don't know. It, there's, there's an element to it that, for me, is really charming, and it's taking mm. it away from the process. I, I call it processing. Yeah. When you when you get a gemstone, you facet it, and you have to make sure it's highly polished and all this that, and the other to say this is what is beautiful. Actually, if you yeah. go back to nature and you take it all away, it's like having um, a beautiful lady who doesn't need to wear makeup. This is the raw, this is it. This is what you would get mm. if you were to go to a mine, chip it from out of the ground and just come up. Yeah. Nothing and else. put a hole into it and yeah. that's it. Use Done. it, yeah. And I really like that. I love them. I, I, when we first started doing this sort of gemstone, I just loved it when I, when I could work with them and, and use them and there's something different and just the... Everything about them is different and unique and amazing. I think we've got so many, so many things to process these days that it's so nice to get that raw element. And yeah. look at the price. Morganite at £12.95. And they're big pieces of Morganite they are. as well. They're big chunks. Yeah. Big chunks. And just one, that's all you need. One as a pendant. Love the look of this. Now, I just want to give you a heads up, talking of something that's beautiful, talking of natural. Um, after the little break, I have got an opportunity, and it is a huge opportunity for you, to get a hold of natural lapis lazuli. 980 carats of natural, unadulterated lapis lazuli. Beautiful colour. It is absolutely stunning. Dunning. No treatment to it whatsoever. Obviously, it's, it's been shaped and that's it. So it's gorgeous. In fact, they'd go beautifully with this, wouldn't they? Yeah. One yeah, second. they would. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, don't forget, the next hour is going to be our kit hour. And the first kit is absolutely stunning. Wait until you see the colours that come through. It's all, of course, a Christmassy theme. And straight after the break, we have got that wonderful star by for you with the 980 carats of lapis lazuli. So do not go anywhere. Get yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, maybe a hot chocolate or cocoa at this time. And get yourself a biscuit and we shall see you in two. We here at Jewellery Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say. 
with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, theme shows, program guides, and jewelry maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Tune in this Thursday for the launch of Joe Barkley Logie's first ever DVD. Learn how to create this exquisite French beaded floral centerpiece. Joe will guide you through how to design beautiful flowers using the basic and fancy continuous loop technique, along with other seed beading techniques. Decorate your Christmas table this year with this stunning statement piece. So make sure you're tuned in this Thursday at 2 o'clock. Lapis lazuli. I love this stone. To be fair, I love both stones. But I love this one particularly because of the association with the Egyptians. Mmm, yeah. Lapis lazuli. You have a look at um, any sort of Egyptian architecture, and if you see the sort of blue bits on the hieroglyphs, if you see the coloured ones, uh, generally it was lapis lazuli that was ground down to create that pigment. There's rumours saying that apparently Cleopatra used to grind it down and wear it as eyeshadow. Um, it was used in, I think it was the Sistine Chapel, wasn't it? For Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo's. Leonardo's. That's my impression of painting. I'm sure he did a better job than that. Um, but it's, it's one of those stones that is so vivid in colour. That's been used for pigments. It's been used as... Um, ornate architecture in the walls, it's also been used as mosaics, it's been used as um, statues, it's been used for ornamental carvings for centuries, thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And you can see why, and it's just as beautiful today as it was back then. But today you're not likely to get a large quantity without it being dyed. This is not dyed. This is 980 carats of natural. Stunning natural lapis lazuli. If there was ever a moment to get a hold of the authenticity card, this is the purchase to do it on. So the authenticity card is 25 pence. Now there is only 100 of these parcels because they are big enough to be called a parcel in existence that's all that was commissioned we have the final 50 and we're going to do them for this price or are we <laughs> yeah. why would we do that we don't want to do that we want to take it down as low as it can possibly go and give it to you for less than 20 pounds. You could quite happily be making a piece of jewellery, a pendant maybe, and charging 20 pounds for that, couldn't you? Depending on where you sold it. Quite happily. Quite happily. I would be more than happy to buy a lapis lazuli pendant for 20 pounds. That is brilliant. 
That is absolutely brilliant. Take a look at the size of each and every single one of these. In fact, the bit that I love as well is that not all of them are domed. So you see this one is domed, but if I get this one here, flat. I also mm. like the fact it tapers. So you've got the flat section there, you've got the flat section on the back, and that is also the case with your ovals as well. You do get domed ones, as you can see here, but you also get your flat ones as well. So depending on what you're doing, you've got the, the choice and the option there. You will get a variety of different shapes. I can't guarantee what shapes you are going to get. I mean, in this one, we've got quite a lot of ovals and pears. You could also get um, octagons or your rectangles there. You could get circles. I mean, there's a, there's a variety of different shapes that you could get. I said octagon. That's not. That's probably not one that you are going to get. I was thinking of rectangle, yeah. not octagon. What am I talking about? Uh, now, how many do I have here? Two, four, six, eight, one, dear, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, twenty-six. In this parcel, if you get this parcel, it works out at seventy-seven pence per cab. And when you're considering the fact that you could quite possibly go into a store... Oh, is it? OK, so the average carrot weight of one of these is 37. <laughs> Huge. You could go into a crystal store or a, a new age store and you could get a small tumbled gemstone for £1, £1.50. Mm -hmm. These are 37 carats on average per stone. That is amazing and it's natural and you've got the, the dome shapes and the flat shapes and you've got the ovals and the rounds and the rectangles. I can't guarantee you'll get all of those in there but I can guarantee you'll definitely get 980 carats. Now, um, do we have a name? Uh, Anonymous says, as a gemstone customer, just wanted to say thank you beautiful gemstones in the last hour. Much appreciated. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome more than welcome this is it you don't have to make jewelry with any of the pieces that we bring to you i personally i do i do make jewelry as well i haven't done it for a long time because of my little one because i just haven't got time although i did make a ring for my mum's birthday today happy birthday mum if nice. you're watching love you you are amazing I've not managed to speak to her today because she was at work and then i left for work uh. and it's just yeah um did I leave her a voice? She doesn't have a phone with a voicemail on, so no, I haven't. And she's not on, on social media, so it's, she's very old school. So I'll have to ring her tomorrow. In fact, I can't ring her tomorrow because I'm here. <laughs> there we uh, are. So, I've, I've lost the plot. No, no, that's it. You don't have to make jewellery. I haven't no. been able to make jewellery for a little while, but I still love to get a hold of the gemstones because I just love gemstones. Yeah, it's still nice to have a look at them and just... And lots of them. Yeah. That's, yeah. I am a little bit of a hoarder when it comes yeah. to stones. I say a little bit of a hoarder. I'm a hoarder when it comes to stones. Me too. And books. And most things. <laughs> In general. Clothes, shoes, handbags, Ooh, stones. Yeah. 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 Now, going to leave those there with you, my lovely, and I'm going to bring to you... Ooh, Cabochons. I love these ones. I love these ones. I love them. These ones. <laughs> that was lovely. Thank you. I'm here all night. So <laughs> these are seraphonite. Yet another natural gemstone. Look at it. It does not look natural, does it? No. It looks like somebody's chopped something up and combined it all together and sort of mashed it up and it's made up. It's feeling a little bit capuchon. grim, considering the thing I'm going to say next, uh, which is associated with angels. Yep. After that <laughs> comment, <laughs> there we go. Um, it's so a... it's basically <laughs> blended angel wings <laughs> going along with what Deb's just said. Um, it's actually associated with the seraphim, which is the highest level of angels, which is supposed to be the closest yes. to the throne yep. of God. Um, if you look at the, the, the sort of teachings of it, you take a look at this and you can see why it's associated with the seraphim. So it's because it looks like, I don't want to say chopped up wings, but no. it looks like angel wings. It looks like feathers. It does look really feathery. It does. Yeah, it does. 
So that's that's the kind of it, it's the, like the myth is it's been touched by angel wings, and when it was touched, the imprint went onto the stone. So that's the myth behind it. It is a completely natural stone, and I love it. It's unusual. It's magical. It it's got a fantastic quality to it. That's a very good question, Phil. Uh, Phil said, I don't know why we don't do uh, seraphonite rounds or strands. We haven't. We just haven't, have we? No. I don't think I've ever seen... I've only ever seen it as a cab, and that's in made-up jewellery as well. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. I don't know. I do not know. It lends itself better to... Well, it, a cab. It, it means that you can actually see all the texture and the pattern yes. and, and the shapes that are on the, the cabochon rather yeah. than it being in a round because it would need to be a really big size, like 10 millimetre or 12 or 14 or something. Yeah, I think it'd to get be lost able to get all wouldn't it? Of the, yeah. It's really, really beautiful. Mm. Really beautiful. And it's a really unique um, green as well, isn't it? Yes. It's yes, quite it a is. distinct green. It's almost... Mm, I want to say bluey green, but it's not. It's not quite a bluey green, is it? It's. Mm, I was going to say it's almost moldavite, but it's not. It's not quite moldavite. Yeah, it's not see, quite. Yeah. It's almost like it's been combined. It's like a shark green. I know sharks aren't green, but you know sharks have got that certain grey. Yeah. Colour to them. Grey green. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It's absolutely. Stunning. It's sort of silica based as well, so you've got that wonderful smoothness to the stone itself. It takes a really gorgeous quality. £21.95. Bargain. Absolute bargain. Now I've got a treat for you as well. This is very special, my lovely. Da 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 da! Because we never bring it to you enough. Uh, you normally get it in a kit, so we very rarely bring it. Bring it? Bling it. We very rarely bling it to you. We very rarely bring it to you um, separately. So it's quite nice to be able to bring it to you now. White wildfire and it is 50 yards in total. 50 yards of the stuff. Deb! It does go on for a long time. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. You can do a lot of beading with that. What do you think of the price? That's good. Bargain. How much Very does it good. work out per yard? Oh. Pennies. 16 pennies to be precise. 16 pence. 16 pence. Really strong as well and just just perfect for, for all of the seed beads. Now we've got a massage. I'd like a massage, to be fair. <laughs> Shoulders are a little bit achy. Um, Jilly Susie What's It has said, Deb. If I sew seed beads onto a knitted hat, could I use Ooh. shearing elastic or would it need to be wildfire type thread? Question mark. No, Question mark. Kiss, you kiss. may be better actually using an elastic because obviously with it being a hat, oh, it stretches, it's got the yeah. stretch. So you wouldn't have any stretch at all if you no. use the wildfire. It's like if you're sewing onto um, elasticated fabric, you need to do a zigzag stitch. Yeah. Because it needs to it, have that give, otherwise it just goes... Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'd probably, depending on what size seed bead you're using, but go for an elastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good advice. Very good advice. The there other option go. would be to stretch the hat out and try and stitch it when it's stretched. See, I would say the risk with but that is then you'd sag. Well, you might end up seeing the thread when it. Yeah, Shrinks or back. having too many beads in one go. Yeah, which it's much be better to use the elastic, I'd say. There you go. Mm. Hopefully that helps, my lovely. Thank you, darling. So grab a hold of this. You're always going to use it if you're doing your beading. Beading, beading, beading. Yeah. And we generally bring it to you in a kit, don't we? Yeah, and it's good, good to have all of the different colours as well. So, True. You know, you can then choose the appropriate colour for the project. Ooh. Now, Colleen has message to say, Wildfire is £12 in a well-known hobby shop. It is a good price. Mm. Très good. It is. Très good. Now, it's kit time. It is kit time. I can't believe it's that time already. Now, come with me. 
Come with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my brew with me. I've had my brew bought over, so I'm bringing it along. As you can probably hear in the background, I still have. Oh. The oh. tree for you a stop. I've still got that really irritating there. cough, that really irritating tickle in, in my throat. Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, there's no way to put my cup of tea. One oh, second. No. This Normally is really important. Open the drawer, yeah. There is a drawer. The secret drawer. Ah, oh, the secret drawer of tea. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How did you find the kit? I nearly said something stupid then. Um, I opened the bag and there it was. I knew. But I, was, I was waiting for something <laughs> like when the postman bought it. To the door. <laughs> I think I picked this one up from the office. OK, yeah. fair enough. But, no, it's fantastic. I mean, the colours are just totally Christmas. Christmasy. They really are. Yeah. So, in the kit, you've got... It's a Christmas theme, of course. You've got greens, golds, reds, creams and... It's a silver grey. Ah, see, mm. I was looking at that thinking more of, it's almost like a, I was going to say teal, but teal's the wrong colour. Yeah. I'm thinking of like, uh, like a mink. Mink, yes. Yeah, I don't know what it's actually called. I can't remember. Silver. Oh, it is silver. So we've got evergreen. Oh, hello. We've got evergreen, we, which is, they're all in point nine, um, 32 it's metres of each. You've got evergreen, you've got red, you've got silver, you've got one's... white and marigold. That one's a finer one. Oh, that one's a point four. Yeah. So your marigold is actually a point four. Do, do, do. But the others are point nine. So yeah. point nine, point nine, point nine, point nine, point nine, point four for your marigold. You then also get your seed bees, which is four tubes of seed bees, which are very beautiful colours. They are. Um, they are galvanised gold, which is eight, size eight. You've then got your garnet lined ruby AB, which is size six. You've then got your matte transparent dark emeralds, which is in an eight. I thought that was actually had no lid on then. I heard the, the bees ha! tumble and thought, oh dear. Heck? Oh dear. And then we also got silver lined crystal seed bees in a six. So the majority are a six, and your galvanized gold is an eight. They're really beautiful. Really beautiful. And the theme for this was not jewellery, mm. placemats. So, how did you find working with them outside of the jewellery context? Um, well, I, I don't mind. I mean, it's not easy to get me to make jewellery and just make jewellery. Normally, I just do something odd. But um, I really enjoyed it, actually, just making something different. I really love this one. I love that one. I want to make that into a cuff. Yes. I'm going to make a longer version. Yes. Yeah, that would be really beautiful. Cuff. I mean, as a coaster, that's stunning yeah. anyway. But actually, as a cuff, that would be fabulous. How did you do... So I'm taking it, you, you did this section first and then added. Yeah, I did the two green strips first. Yeah. Um, and that's just brick stitch yep. along. But there are um, 40 seed beads in length. Really? And then wow. along the gold, the gold sections there. Yeah. Um, going, like, connecting the two together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are 31 wow. seed beads. So 40 along strength. this way. 40 that way. And 31 there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. So I made the two green sections first and then connected it up using wildfire actually um, with all, all of the gold strands. But I just thought that looks really luxurious. It does. It's almost got a Moroccan kind of feel to it. Yeah. Yeah. Christmassy Moroccan. Now, what can we do price-wise on this one? So you're getting your four of your Miyuki seed beads, you're getting five of the Esalon, and you're getting it for £29.55. What are you? <laughs> How do you feel if I gave you £2.22 pence per component? How about £19.95 in total? Wow. Less than £20 for all of this. That's five of your spools. That's four of your Moyuki. 
That's fantastic. That is fantastic. That is seriously fantastic. If you think that about really it, good. that's less than three pounds per tube. Mm. That's amazing. That is brilliant. Wow. So already Violet's there, Helen's there, Terry's there, Paul's there, Collector in Gloucestershire's there, Collector in Dorset, Collector in Hertfordshire, Tracy, Ali, Chris, Jane, good luck to each and every single one of you who've not yet checked out. Well done if you have already done so. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic price point when you think of how much a tube of seed beads could be. Yeah, yeah. And how much it was, what was it worked out? £2.20 two per component that's two pound 22 for your gold seed beads that's... two pound 22 for your emerald green two pound 22 for your ruby red two pound 22 for your white that's it i mean it's brilliant and then two pound 22 per spool and brilliant the amount of i mean the amount of uh, thread that you've got there it's loads. Is, yeah it's fast it was, what was it 32 meters each spool apart from the 0.4 which is 70 metres. That works out at 198 metres in total. All of that, 198 metres and four packets of your seed beads for less than £20. So what are you going to do now? I was going to show you the round um, placemat there. Because it's got lots of different... It has got in, lots of different elements that you can use in other sort of things. So you don't need to obviously make um, a placemat. You could use it for a cuff, a bracelet, and um, sort of necklace sections, mm. um, something mixed media. So I thought if we have a look at that. So I started off. Um, I wanted to create a really long braid. Okay. So I just thought the easiest way to do that is to plait it using the three threads that are like the real Christmas colours. Red, gold and green. Actually, if you I want mean, the gold jump rings to go along with this, they are at the bottom of the screen. Oh, that would be, be nice, nice yeah, actually, it yeah. would. It would, yeah, just having that little bit so of So it's the gold coloured uh, brass open jump rings, 9mm, 100 pack for a pound. If you want to add that so, to um, What I did was I used, um, it was huge amounts of thread. So how I much probably have got had, left? how much have I got left? I've I got, still got a good amount. I have got, yeah, so if I was making bracelets and mm. things like that, I've still got loads of thread. So you can see. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, there's that loads. That's really good. So, um, and I've, I've got loads of um, cord braid now that I've got as well, so. Oh, yes, yeah. I've got a big chunk of that sitting there. Here's a chunk I made earlier. Yep. Woo, it's alive. So. So is this three strands of each colour that you're going for? Um, what I did was I took a length of, let me, un no, I won't undo that colour. I'll undo this one. Because you won't see the white on the white board, will you? No, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show it to you, but, yeah, it's invisible. Um, so all I did was I took a length of the thread, so fold it in half, and then another length folded in half, and then just tie a knot at the end. So you only need a little tiny loop at the end. So did those for my three colours, the red, the green and the white. And then if I move my thread out of the way. So then taking um, a T-pin, so if you've got a pin, if you've got a safety pin, you could use that, whatever, and just pin through the loops onto your board so obviously you can use a like a clipboard or something if you want if you haven't got macrame board and then um what i would say is i i did my braid in a really long length so it's meters and meters and meters of it um what i 
did was use the bobbins that you use for kumahimo. Yes. Um, and wrapped them, the threads into the bobbins. Okay. So it makes it easier. Yeah, it stops it from tangling and then, stops it. it, yeah. So it makes it much easier to work with a longer length. Um, you can, if you want to, do it in shorter lengths. That's fine. But you'll just end up then having to stitch all of the loose ends in. I was going to say, how would you so, attach them if you did shorter lengths? Um, you could do it. You could glue it or you could um, stitch it. Okay. Stitch it down. But it's it was just much easier, really, to plait a whole section, okay. metres of it, and then work with the one length. And then you, you haven't got lots, like the hassle of having to... Um, you haven't got the hassle of having to, to sort of hide the ends and make it all neat and tidy. So <laughs> just keep going until you've got your braid, nice even plait. And then what I did was tied the end off, just using a little bit of the gold or an off cut. So that will just stop that from fraying. And your, your braid will then stay nice and neat. So once you've done that, snip that off. And then on the other end, just undo the, um, the pin with the loops and thread through the loops with some some of your thread. You could use a needle and machine if, if Yeah, it's... yeah. It's probably easier to do it with a needle and thread rather than trying to... It will be once I get my, uh, my, my new glasses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe I should put my glasses on now. That would be a, an idea, wouldn't it? I you can always have yeah, contacts. Could... We'll see what happens there. Oh, I couldn't do contacts. The, the idea of them scare me. Yeah, the, the concept scares me as well, which is why I've not yet no. even attempted it. I'm, I'm doing a trial next week, so that'll be fun. <gasps> right. So you've then got your braid. So pop that onto one side. And then what, what we need to do is... I did um, wonder how you did that centre section. I've just seen what you've done now. That's really yeah. cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm already ahead of Leap you. Leaped ahead. Leaps ahead, I can see what's going to come up next. <laughs> I shall predict the future. <gasps> yes, it's the get core. The, get the, the fluorite it's, um, it's, it's crystal the, balls ooh, out. It's the goldy bit. It doesn't look gold right now, but it will. It will, it will. So you, you can use off cuts, or you can just take some fresh thread. And then all we needed to do, ding, jumped. So, take these. It's like doing now for this, um, you know, hair braids that you have when you're on holiday? Yes. And they're wrapped yes. with thread. This is like doing one of those. So, I'm you mean gonna... like when you're on holiday in Tenerife? In Tenerife, yeah, sitting on your balcony or yeah. on the beach. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, you definitely have a hair wrap then, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I'll be very disappointed so. if you don't. <laughs> and send a photo. <laughs> yeah, we need proof. Right, so what I did was I held some of the, the gold thread along the length of... How many have I got of those? Uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight lengths. So the more lengths of thread, like the core thread, I suppose, that you have, the thicker your wrapped section will be. So, just wrap round a couple of times to start. And then all I did was use a PVI, PVI? A PVI? PVI glue. That's, that's Is that a new type P of glue? By <laughs> PVA's <laughs> brother, PVI. I'm obviously having 
trouble Sounds talking. like one of those menace phone calls. We're calling you about your PPI... PPI. <laughs> your PPI glue. <laughs> your PPI glue. <laughs> Claim. I didn't have any PPI. No, PPI. <laughs> PVI, not PPI. Too many... Oh, that's dyslexic, isn't it? Oh, dear. Madness. So is it PV... It's, PVA glue. It's a PVA type glue. Type yes. glue. So put it over the um, the core threads, and then okay. you can just wrap around and try and get them nice and tightly wrapped, so that you can't see the colours through. So. Oops, slipping. It's all that PVI. PVI, yeah. <laughs> PVI sticking to my fingers. <laughs> PVI, where did that come from? I don't know. It's not. It doesn't even sound slightly like A, does it? No. So, just keep going. Maybe you were going to follow it by saying I something. I maybe, yeah. My brain just missed out a few words. Mine's that As all the time. As it does. <laughs> yeah, mine's that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so just keep wrapping around and you can see that it will start to um, fill in and you don't see any of the, the base colour underneath. And then keep going until you've got enough to create a nice circle. So if I get rid of that bit. And then assembling it all. So to do this, what I did was I took the circle mm -hmm. and trimmed that down so I didn't have lots of bits. And then just take a Take um, a needle and thread, and this is just a normal needle. It's not a beading needle. So I've got some more of the 0.4 thread, and just stitch over. And because you're using the um, the same colour as you've used to bind mm -hmm. it, it'll all disappear. So you have went. you got a knot in the end of that or have you just no, left I've it? No, I've just, okay. just pulled it through and then done another stitch over the top. So that's oh, okay. now held. Brilliant. And then what I'm just going to do is bring the needle over the top of the braid and pull it and that starts to hold that down. So... So is it almost like a tacking stitch that you'll be doing Ta around Yeah, it? just go over the top. So if I go over again... Pull it through. So I'm stitching it onto foundation fabric. You could, you could use um, some sheet or denim or something. Yeah. Like, you know, old pair of jeans. So anything you've got Recycle really. something yeah. for the, the back. So or curtain fabric. Curtain fabric, anything, yeah, yeah. Yeah. An old duster or something would be fine as well. That's coming undone there because I've cut it too short. Never mind. So what I did, where you can see the um, ends and that colour coming through, I just stitched over a few times and basically wrapped it at the same time as I was stitching it onto the the base so it covers up the um, the inner so okay so if we just tack over on the other side as well and then work your way all the way around the circle so that you've got that fixed in position. There seems to be a leaf on your underside. There is a leaf on the underside. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll need to 
you'll need to um, tack it probably every centimetre or so to make sure yep. that it's really fixed okay all the way around so I'll, I'll just do it quickly so that we can then move on to the next step so then next step is to take your braid and just stitch that through so bring your, your braid I've got my thread coming out on the top so I'm just going to put one little tack stitch in like that and one at the end and then start bringing the braid around and what I did was at the same time as tacking the braid onto the foundation fabric was to actually take some of the seed beads and pop those on at the same time oh, okay so it's like two jobs in one so you're using the the thread so, for the the actual tacking mm -hmm. yes. yeah 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 so using the the um yeah i can see it 0.4 and just stitch those beads on at the same time as tacking your braid on so Brilliant. it uh and it's it's really nice i think that the the braid stops being a braid um you can't tell that it's just plait because when it, it goes like round and round woven. it yeah it looks like a, a woven section or mm. you know some fancy knotting technique which is quite cool and the beads in the center i'm assuming you've glued the beads in the PVI center all i did yeah was pvi no i used e6000 type glue there we are. just put a whole mass of glue in there, pulled it into the section in the centre once I'd done all my stitching round. So you do the stitching and first? Yeah. Right. And then you can sprinkle your beads into the glue and put a weight on top just to hold them down and make sure that, you know, they're, they're adhered really well. Brilliant. So E6000 is perfect or that sort of yeah. um, rubbery flexible glue. Brilliant. Thank yep. you very much, my lovely. You're welcome. Now, that has brought us beautifully to a star by time. So, are you ready for it? It is star by. <laughs> So what you missed then, as I thanked Debs and walked over and she spotted what the star by was, there was a very definite, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, 50 carats of ooh, to be precise. So this is gorgeous amethyst stuff, baby. Um, now, we're going to be naughty on this one. So when you said the ooh to the actual... Uh, design and the mm. style and the colour uh, you're going to say oh again to the price we're not going to be stopping at 18 pounds 95 you've got 50 carats of your gorgeous amethyst in these perfect pairs there's only 58 opportunities and that is it so if you see it you like it you love it and you want it go grab it with both hands because it's going to fly out especially when you see it's going under Apparently Phil might not be able to do it. Can you do it? He's got to take the graphics oh, oh dear. He's got to take the graphics out. He's, got to see He's already said he wants to do this certain price point. So now he doesn't know if he can. Goodness me. Are you ready? Can we do it? Okay. Oh, under 15 pounds. If the computer lets us do it. Yes! <laughs> There was a moment then, that was a very, <laughs> very scary moment then, when it very nearly didn't do anything at all and it was going to stay at the price it was originally. <sighs> so well, temperamental, well, isn't it? I know. This, yeah, so Computer says no. Computer says no. Yeah. This should not be £12.95 though, should it? No, it really shouldn't. Not with that, that quality. 
If you think about it, take and the darkest one. Yeah. Put that as a pendant. Yeah. Would you be selling that for twelve pounds ninety-five? No. Nil pois. A lot more. Nil pois. I really want to make a kind of a a Lord of the Rings style. Yeah. With, or a with Game of Thrones almost like style. a drop yeah. of. That's amethyst at the centre, yeah. Yay. Just like, yeah, nice. Same wavelength. Ooh, I may be scary. short, but my thoughts are high. <laughs> my thoughts are so tall. <laughs> yeah, they travel. They do, they do. They're lightweight thoughts. I like the rest of me. £12.95, you could quite happily be charging £15, couldn't you, for that central gemstone as a pendant. Do it as a little headpiece. That would be beautiful. Maybe a little bit of chain and just that one in the centre of your, of your yeah. third eye. So you've got movement there. Yeah. yeah. That would be a really nice uh, festival piece, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah, really it would. Nice. And again, these are absolutely perfect for flowers. Yeah. Really nice because instead of having the point in the centre, you've got the round in the centre, so it gives it a different look. I'm trying to think. Is it called Nars... No, 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 no. Like a Narcissus. Narcissi. That's the badger. Flower. Yeah. Not badger. Flower. Yes. Yeah. Like, the, uh, the, 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 a little bit daffodil-like. That's the one. I was going to yeah. say dandelion. No. Um, daffodils. Yeah. They're, <laughs> oh, I'm catching these thoughts. They're good, <laughs> aren't they? I can't yeah. speak to them because they're far too lightweight for me. They're just right <laughs> up here somewhere. Um, at least you know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm not even talking about it. <laughs> I'm just yeah. throwing it. Muttering at me. <laughs> the young... Uh, 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 it's working. One. We'll stick with it. It's working. Um... Yeah, so you've got a wonderful look. Love it. Grab it while you can. Good luck and check those baskets out because I have got something beautiful for you that will go lovely with these. Hello, my darling. Would you like some aquamarine? They're nice. Aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? 40 carats wow. of aquamarine. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Take a look at these. This is, it's, I'm looking at it thinking that's very zircon like. Yeah. Sort of your blue zircon. Yeah. Yeah. Because the facets are creating that sparkle, isn't it? Yeah. So, zircon, that's of course, lovely. is very sparkly. Um, this is gorgeous. So, it's got this wonderful light colour, very bright, very beautiful. Very clean, aren't they? It is, isn't it? It really is. Often we see sort of milky aquamarines or frosted aquamarines, but these are quite crisp. Mm. They're very, they're very glacial or wintry. Icy. 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 <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm looking at this going, I wouldn't want to put it with anything else. I just want it as a necklace. Is that wrong to say that? I just, I just want to no. re-strand it and put it as a necklace. No, I think that I'd, I'd make a bracelet because I want to look at it. Yes. But, yeah, I am thinking it would look rather good with the neon appetite we had. Oh, oh. do I still have that mm. somewhere? No. 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 Um, but if you think about it, yes, it would look beautiful. Yeah. Bright, vivid blue with a soft. Yeah. Glacial blue, it would work per. In fact, if I bring one of the lapis lazuli yeah, with the in, lapis. Mm. so you've got a very distinct. Di oh, Leah, I love you. <laughs> You're amazing. That would be the one, my lovely. That would be the one. Thank you. There we go. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that's very lovely. It is, isn't it? It is. Mm. Mm. There are moments of silence where me and Debs are just looking at each other, nodding. Nodding. <laughs> just going, yeah. mm, yes, mm. yes. Yeah. Both basking in the beauty of both <laughs> of these strands. I am liking those. It I also am. reminds me of a tropical holiday, like yes. Tenerife. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm sore or bitter about that no. at all. You're not fixated on it, no. are you? No, not at all. Not at all. Hold those lines, my lovelies. Hold those lines. Now, oh, I need to bring you a luxury bag. Now, it's not a handbag, but it's still luxurious. 
So if you are making to sell or if you are wanting to, I hate to admit this, so gifts, it's always good to have a bag that is not themed for a gift. Um, I didn't have a chance to go out and get a gift bag for my mum's birthday, so she got a Christmas bag because I've already bought the Christmas bags. She will forgive me, I am sure, especially when she sees what's inside, but this will be fantastic. If you are selling, they are perfect for that. But on top of that, as gifts, if you're making four gifts this season, these would be perfect. First of all, you've got a really sturdy, as you can see, it's taken me a little time to do it, really sturdy bag, perfect size for bracelet boxes, perfect size for necklace boxes, perfect yep. size for a variety of gifts going in there. And you have your wonderful handles, which are extremely luxurious. But you've also got a section here, which you can quite nicely just tie into a bow and your gift is done. It just looks so expensive and high-end and classy and beautiful. It really does. Uh, clearly, you will tie the bow a lot better than I will. No, it's lovely. Mm. I'm not very good at tying bows, we all know that. <laughs> That's why the, a lovely anonymous lady sent me a bow tie, which if I'd have had that with me today, ah. that would be perfect. It's, I clearly didn't have it with me today and it is not so perfect. But you will get it. Spot on. It does. It looks like it's from a high-end boutique. It does. Genuinely yeah. looks like a high-end boutique. For two pounds. And to be fair, considering the quality and the, the glamour that you're getting with this, you mm. could go to your local store and get uh, one with a funny picture on it. But it's not yeah. the same. No. It's not the same. If you want classy, if you want something high-end... This is perfect, especially if you're making and selling on a stall and you're saying, say somebody buys £100 worth of stuff. £2 is not going to be a lot, is it? You don't have to give it with every single purchase. You could say, if you spend £50, you get a free gift bag. Yeah. That's a fair, that's a fair comment, isn't glamour it? Glamour is the right word for it, actually. Hmm. It does have a real glamour about it. A yes. real, Yeah. Like you're, you're carrying something away inside that's just really... Special. Special. And that's the thing I love about it. When you go to a jewellery store and you buy, even if it's the tiniest yeah, thing, yeah. you do get the nicest bag. Yeah. And you feel proud walking out of that shop going, yes, I've got something amazing. Yeah. Inside my bag. Yeah. <laughs> and it is it's stunning. It's stunning. Whether it's a gift or whether you are making to sell, it's just really lovely. Beautiful colour as well. It really is. It really, really is. Perfect for male or female. Yeah. Now, I have also got something sparkly for you. Now, this is a luxury bag. I'm now going to bring you a luxury strand. Now, this is sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Look at the sparkle on this. This is natural and unenhanced. This is gorgeous, isn't it, for it an is. enhanced gemstone? Sparkle, sparkle. I do love zircon. I do. Mm. I do. It's just, it, it's just the fact that not everybody knows about it as well. And that's a good thing. That's a really good thing, yeah. If we mined it the same way as diamonds, it would deplete so quickly. Yeah, it'd be gone. Yeah. So you, you think about quantity of diamonds to zircon. Yeah. Zircon is, oh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Endangered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look at it in that way. Um, zircon is technically endangered in comparison to diamonds. Yeah. Um, it is such a wonderful gemstone. And that's, the, again, the nice thing about not many people know about it. I mean, if people knew about it in the way diamonds were, I wouldn't be bringing you this strand right now. Mm. It's got the sparkle. It has fire like a diamond has fire. But you don't get the price of a diamond. And that's the thing. And it's, it's older. The actual gemstone itself. I can't guarantee if this one is old, as old as the world. But it is the oldest gemstone, full stop. 
as far as we're aware. Even have a whole section of science named after it, zirconology. Oh. You don't get diamondology, do you? But you've got zirconology. And actually put scientists in its place as well. Yeah. We believe the planet is this old. And this gemstone went, what? No, actually. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> you thought that wrong. Sorry, what was that? Try again. Wrong. <laughs> um, so this helped to date the planet. It was only sort of a couple of points of a billion years out of date. But, you know, considering. Even so. It's, it's bizarre, isn't it? It is really. £17.95, you can get this gorgeous strand. For less than £20, you can get one of the oldest gems... No, the oldest gemstone known to man. Not one of the oldest. Yes. The oldest gemstone known to man. It is amazing. It's seen with dinosaurs. It has seen modern man. Mm. It has seen lots and lots and lots of different things. It's seen revolutions occurring. It's seen the planet moving apart and moving apart and moving apart, going from one landmass right through to the various different continents that we have today. What other gemstone can say that? It's nice when you're actually wearing a piece of jewelry because it's not, it's not mm. just jewelry then, is it? It's natural history. It is, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it is just incredible. And to be that beautiful as well. I know. If I look that good that in a couple of billion years' beautiful. time, I'd yeah. be really happy. I'd <laughs> yeah. be really That's happy. That's all Zircon. Yeah. <laughs> and four point dot 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 dot. <laughs> I would like to look like a Zircon, please. <laughs> Sparkly and shiny. Um, it is brilliant. In fact, Lynn has managed to get herself two of these. Well done, my lovely. They are gorgeous. And you don't have to use a lot. You don't have no. to. The sparkle that you get from this carries really well. Just a few of those across the front of a ring or wrapped around a pearl. It's Ooh. just going to look so Pearl's beautiful. Mm. Actually... I'm now thinking bridal. I don't know why I didn't think yes, bridal originally. It's, it's almost got a slightly sepia yeah. quality to it. And that's very soft. With an ivory yes. wedding dress, it's, oh. it's going to be perfect. Oh. Yeah, it is. Like a cafe au lait type. Yeah. 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 Magic. Love it, love it, love it. Now... Next, I've got some gold square tubes. <laughs> oh dear, no, I'm not going to sing gold. They always did. Ta da! So they are literally gold tubes. They are 925 gold plating over sterling silver. So that's 18 karat gold over your sterling silver. Uh, and they are 10 by 2 millimetres. You get 10 of them in total. 10 of these. them in total. I love these. They are pretty. They're so, they? they're just really clean, contemporary, stylish. Very. I'd put these actually with the zircon because the luster from the zircon was really lively and pingy and tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -y. and then these what no yes 50 pence each wow that's amazing I I think the luster on these would work really nicely offset against the zircon because mm. you've just got these strong sort of bars of light yes so you've got the flat be, yeah. bar of light which just flashes in one and then you've got yeah. the twinkle of the... Yeah, 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 yeah it works. It's like Christmassy almost. Yeah. One would say. Very Christmassy. Nice earrings, actually. You could have one of these, then a length of chain um, and some zircon on the bottom. Ooh. That would be lovely. Ooh, that would. That would indeed. Now, you mentioned in pearls. I think yeah. the pearls with these would look pearls beautiful as well. Pearls with those would look good, yeah. In fact, let me bring a strand of pearls. Mm. Yeah. One pearl, tube yeah. on each side. Yeah. Some chain. Yeah, on one of the bracelets. Yes. The slider bracelets. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Beep. 
50 pence each. Great addition That's to really any good. stash. Now, next up. Do you like orange? When I say orange, I mean orange. Ta da <laughs> This actually reminds me of a lollipop red rather than lollipop. an orange. Lollipop. Yeah, there's a certain well. lollipop that... Oh, um, yes, a little round. Yeah, it used to change yeah. colour. Traffic light lolly. Ah. You remember those traffic light lollies? No. Oh. Oh, okay. It reminds me of a traffic light lolly. Started off red, <laughs> then went yellowy, and then green. Oh, I never had one of those. These are brilliant. Now, do not chew them, do not suck them. They are not edible, but they are fantastic. They're, of course, orange coloured dyed quartz. They are plain rounds and they're £2.95. Great for the kids for Christmas. If you want to get them started on crafting, yeah. £3, you've got a strand, they can make a stretchy. If you want to be really basic, stretchy, yep. get them to restrand it. If you want to put some findings in there and get them to make earrings or various different things, you are more than welcome to. Um, it depends on what you think their capabilities are. Well, they've also got quite a big drill hole because they've got the nylon thread going through as yeah. the temporary strand. That's so true. that indicates it's quite a, a big size drill hole. Of course, make sure they're not the age that they're going to want to eat them if I gave these to my daughter. That would be very bad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the moment anything goes into her mouth. She attempted to put a penny in her mouth this morning. I was like, no, what is oh. that? No! Everything. Mm. I don't even know where the penny had come from. Clearly it had dropped on the floor and I'd not noticed it. And she was yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yeah. No. Thank you for cleaning the penny, but stop. <laughs> so make sure that your, your child is not going to be of that age. Make sure they are able to make the jewellery that you're wanting them to. Beautiful look. Now, let me just give you a bit of a recap because these have been extremely popular, but there are still a couple of them remaining. These I love. I love them, I do. 980 carats of lapis lazuli. They're beautiful multi-shaped cabochon assortment. They are various shapes and sizes and they are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Jilly Susie Watts, it says, Laura, you're on form tonight. Loving the show, though. I keep losing my place as trying not to laugh. <laughs> laugh whilst knitting the hat I'm going to bead. Oh, you're knitting the hat as well. Ah. Brilliant. Clever. Brilliant. I'm actually quite jealous of anyone who can knit. I'm rubbish at knitting. I am useless. I can do a scarf. I can do a scarf as well. Can't do much else. No. I, I have a scarf I knitted years ago, and the reason I've kept it is because if you have normal wool, mm. my scarves look like that. This one uh -huh. is fuzzy wool, so you can't see that. <laughs> so it looks beautiful. And the only time I've ever knitted a cardigan is when I was younger. And can you remember the dinosaurs? Yeah. Can you remember? Um, and you got the not the mama, not the mama. So I had a not the mama toy, and I wanted to knit it a cardigan. Oh. So my mum helped me knit it a cardigan. That's cute. It's the nice. only time I've ever, and she literally went through it step by step. Now you got a pearl. You got. I could not get my head around purling. So any purling she did for me. Oh. Yeah, I should have kept that, but there we are. <laughs> now this is still available. Check those baskets out if you have not yet done so. Now after the break, I promised you the Botswana I ate, didn't I? It is going to be amazing. There are only 50 of them available, though, so if you do want to get a hold of it, grab it with both hands. And don't forget, after the break, after the break, there will also be the final kit as well. So it's going to be fabulous. So get yourself another cup of cocoa or tea or coffee or whatever it is you drink at this time of the night. See you soon. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker.
We're very excited to welcome back Amy K. Sweet McNamara, who's flying in straight from the USA to join us this weekend for our Christmas market show. Amy is the proprietress of Amy Run With Scissors and is a Sutash and Shibori artist. Amy is one of jewellery maker suppliers of Shibori Ribbon, which is handmade in-house by her and her team. She will be appearing on your screens this Saturday and Sunday from 9am and will be inspiring you with all her invaluable design knowledge. Amy K. Sweet McNamara, this weekend on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Tune in this Monday for our 12 Kids of Christmas show. Gemma Crow will be launching her Wirework Christmas Bauble Covers DVD. Get into the festive spirit and learn how to create two different bauble covers, both stunning and sure to make your tree look fabulous this Christmas. So, make sure you're tuned in this Monday at 2pm. Hello and welcome back. I wanted to say let's play the game of am I sitting or standing, but it's clear I'm really tall right now. <laughs> you didn't have to adjust the camera. Am I sitting down? How tall am I? I'm feeling really tall right now. You um, look nearly as tall as the Christmas tree. I, think I am. Mm. Yeah, I've shrunk. I'm standing tall, I'm standing tall. So, you know, sitting here. <laughs> I look like I'm the same height. Great stuff. Yay. Right. <laughs> I did promise you a treat. It is one that you're going to want to own. There's only 50 of them available. It's 700 carats of Botswana agate. They're large tumbles. Gorgeous. Now, this particular strand has both been on my face and Deb's my face. face. Um, and on X as well. Yes. It actually started off on Deb's face and I felt left out. Yeah. So, but it has also been on my nose and not on Deb's yet. No, I haven't put it on my nose. It's good. It's good. <laughs> the reason for that is because we appreciate it. It's a just lot. awesome. It is the most amazing strand I've seen for ages. I love it. It genuinely is really impressive. I mean, if you take a look it at is. the size, yeah. take a look at, first of all, the, the length of it is fantastic. The size of each and every single one of these. Yeah. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask something that Ooh, I don't normally look at ask. That one. What price are you taking this to? Don't tell everybody, just. Okay. That's an amazing price. That is an amazing price. So Botswana agate is known as the king of the agates. And it is a stunning gemstone. It's natural. There's no treatment to it whatsoever. So all of the colours that you guess in a Botswana agate, that is what Mother Nature intended it to be. But it's exactly what Mother Nature intended. So the oranges and the stripes and the patterning and all of that, that is what it is supposed to be. It is gorgeous. Now we're going to do something really naughty, really, really, really naughty, naughty. I am extremely happy to be able to bring this to you 
at £21.95. It is the lowest price it has ever been. And I'm actually really, mm. really, really impressed that we've managed to take it that low. Yes. Really impressed that we've managed to take it that low. There's only 50. That's it. Hillary's already got hers. Well done. Carol has already got hers. Well done. A collector in Lincolnshire's already got hers or his. I don't know. It just says collector. So well done to you. It is an amazing opportunity. £21.95 and you are getting so much beauty naturally in a strand. There is, there is something about Botswana agate that no other agate has. There's, and th there's just something about it. That's why it's known as the king of the agates. It is incredible. It is seriously incredible. You look at every single one of these and they're all individual, they're all unique. I'm tempted to say I want to just restrand it and wear it as a big yep. statement necklace. But yeah. I'm also thinking each and every single one of these deserves to be put on its own so it can be admired. Or, or take it as um, the starting point and look at the colours and shapes and textures within that particular gemstone and mix it in with something else complementary so maybe if it's um well actually the greys work really nicely with pinks okay um but yeah with the amber with so you can you can really highlight and play with with the different tones and colors and create pieces that look very different to each other yeah with each one it'd be amazing to do that so the grey and the pink yeah. does look so beautiful together, doesn't it's it? Lovely, really nice. They just—they are fabulous, fabulous gemstones, and there's so many different ways you can work with them. Now I've got a message come through from Carol in Bristol. Sat crocheting poppies, yay! Um, commission, uh, yeah, commissions in JM Fab Red uh, uh, Four. I can't get my words out. <laughs> ML Four Mil. Come on. Tell you what, Deb, will you read that for me? Because clearly I cannot speak at this moment in time. <laughs> in fab red, four millimetre wire from my stash for next year. Uh, you two are great company tonight. Thank Thanks you very Carol. much, my darling. <laughs> I can't speak, but at least I'm good company. That's good. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> Sam has also messaged in. I'm going to put my glasses on. Because Are you going to do this one? I'm going to attempt it. Okay. I'm not going to promise I'm going to get very good far, luck. but we'll do it. Um, I'm currently it, yeah. sat making Christmas beady mm -hmm. wreaths and watching all the fab deals thinking of what my boyfriend can buy me for Christmas. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ooh. Aisha also says... Um, <laughs> I love I'll it. let you read that one. <laughs> oh dear. Do you not have a booster seat? Or a very fluffy cushion to put on the chair? Love you, Lara. Love you, Aisha. <laughs> I should have a fluffy cushion, that'd be really nice. Yeah. That would be very nice, actually. <laughs> Note to self, bring a fluffy cushion. <laughs> um, well done on this gorgeous, gorgeous agate. Now, moving on. I'm going to do some on and gone in this hour. So we've got some very, very limited stock. Oh, you're going to love this. Oh, you're going to love it. Move. <laughs> It's not. It is ocean jasper. I was going to say mookite. I thought you were going to say <laughs> mookite. <laughs> See, it looks it, but it's not. It's ocean jasper. Now, it's actually the last 13 chances that I have. It's 85 carats of ocean jasper. And as you can see, it has a very similar appearance in some instances, particularly the, the, some of the mustard, mustard ones. But it's not. It mm. is gorgeous, and you're getting it for £5.95. Only 13 of you will get that chance. Only 13 of you, and that is it. I do have mookite, though, by the way. Ah. You were just teasing. Bah. No, moo. Bah. Moo. <laughs> no, no bar about Old it. McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. Oh, don't. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got a toy. <laughs> Welcome to our learning farm. <laughs> Every morning, without <laughs> fail. Bam, 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 bam. The sunflowers <laughs> shine in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our learning. <laughs> five pounds ninety-five. Final thirteen chances. I'm loving the combination of colours. In fact, I am going to yes. put this side by side with the mukite, so you can see these two will go together oh, beautifully. 
Can you spot the difference? See what I mean? They look amazing they are together. Brother and sister. Yes. One from the land and one oceanic, although still from the land at the same time. <laughs> going to leave those final 11. They are going to end up going. Now, Mookite. I might as well bring it to you now as I've taken it out. <laughs> this is the Mookite. Now, these are actually six mil round, so the perfect size to work with so many different things. And we're going to be nutty, 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 80 carats of moo guide, taking it right down to less than five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. Four pounds 95. It is magic. I love the pinks that come through in this because it's yeah. not quite pinks. It's almost like mulberry. Yeah. Mulberry. Yeah. I'm making that up because I don't know what mulberry looks like, but I imagine if mulberry was that colour, it would be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't actually know what mulberry looks like, so I don't know. But whenever you see the colour mulberry, it's, it's that kind yeah. of... It's, it's, it's a nut. It's a nice colour. Oh, it's a nice yeah, okay. It's a nice colour. <laughs> Oh, it's not a nut. Dear. It's not a nut. It is a unique gemstone. It's highly collectible. It's from one location in the world and it has the most amazing colours. Whether they're mulberry or not mulberry, it doesn't matter. Aubergine um, as well on there. Oh, aubergine. Yeah, mm. no, you're right. It's aubergine. Chocolates in there. Mustard. We're going on the food, food theme, yeah. They are fantastic and they are ideal for both male and female. And I think any age range would really love. Oh, ooh, take a look at this one. It's so pretty. One. Found one that you love. I, I, the problem is you find one you love and then a couple, know, of, couple of further down and you go, oh, no, I love that one. Oh, no, I love that one. Oh, there we are. Phil's sticking with the food theme and he says it reminds mm. me of rhubarb and custard. Doodly -doo, doodly -doo. Brilliant. I haven't seen that in years. That was fab cartoon, wasn't it? I think, yeah, <laughs> Phil is going for the actual food rather than the cartoon <laughs> itself. <laughs> <laughs> they are gorgeous though aren't they i'd be tempted again to do a stretchy with them but I'd then be i tempted think just again to rosary link them with chain in between oh it is my favorite thing to do mm. Mm. now i think you're gonna love this next one if i can find where i've popped it there we are there it is so we were looking at something earlier on which was questioned, would it go well with carnelian? I can't remember what it was. What was it that we were looking at? I remember the conversation. Oh, no. <laughs> remember the conversation, can't remember. <laughs> but yes, who it was. Who are you again? <laughs> what, what, whatever, um, I don't know who I am. This is, of course, carnelian. I love this bit. Oh, it looks frosty. Mmm, the snowman. Yeah. Or the leaf, in fact. I love the leaf. I love the look of it. It's carved, so you've got that wonderful indentation. Beautiful look. Yeah, that's magic, isn't it? Mm. I would be tempted to not do anything with this and just have it as an ornament, but that's me. You've obviously got the drill hole at the top there, so perfect for a pendant. Yeah. What would you do with it? Well, you could... You could use it as an ornament and have it as sort of the bottom of a dream catcher or something like oh, that. Oh, nice, and, yes. Um, use the jump rings from that, earlier yeah, on, actually. Yeah, they'd be prefer absolutely perfect. Yeah. The jump rings went for a pound, by the way, if you want to add to your stash. Um, they were gold-coloured copper. Or brass, was it? Brass. Brass. Yeah. Gold-coloured brass, apologies. And there's a hundred of them in the pack, and they went for a pound. Yeah. It's amazing. It's an amazing deal. An amazing deal. So there's only five of these leaves left at £5.95. Grab them. And they're all going to look different, aren't they, as well? Yes. Mm. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. Cornelian's a gorgeous stone. It is. I love it. Now... Ooh. I love the fact she looks up and goes, what? Like, what? What? I'm like what? a little meerkat. <laughs> now. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, indeed. Silver freshwater cultured pearl nuggets. Mm. We're going to be naughty on these ones and take them to six 
95. Perfect for winter. Perfect for weddings. Yeah. I'm thinking of popping it with. There it is. <gasps> spinel. Yes. Black spinel always goes really nice with silver pearls. Mm. 6.95 as well. It's great if you want to practice with pearl knotting or anything like that. Six pounds ninety-five. In fact, practice away. Wear it with pride. Yeah, definitely. And at these lovely. kind of prices, they are stunning. You know what? They look really nice with as well. A little dish, mm. with candles. Oh yeah, like um, almost like um. I was going to say gravel, but it's... Like gravel? <laughs> that was the wrong word. Yeah, it really was. You were supposed to jump in then with the word. I was, I was like sending the thought out. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work that way round. It doesn't work. It's, it's the other way round. I send you the thoughts, <laughs> you interpret them. Um, I suppose pebbles, gravel. It's, again, it's not a very nice term, is no, it? It's, it's a nice... But it would look really pretty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because you normally go for the sort of the um, glass pebbles, don't you? Yes. Yeah. These are so much nicer than just having a glass pebble. In fact, if you yeah, wanted to, you are. could intersperse them with the glass pebbles if, if you so wished. But they would look yeah. really beautiful because when the when with you've the got the light, yeah, dim light the and it's surface. Just, yeah. yeah, yeah, really beautiful pretty. Look. And if you didn't want any wax to fall on them, make sure you get one of the the pillar candles that burrows into the centre. Yeah. Or of course, you can use tea lights around them as well. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, would. Love it. Now, I am going to bring you the alternative, if you are not so much of a silvery person, or you like a bit of both, I've got gold ones for you. Ta-da! In fact, play them both together inside that uh, bowl. Ta-da! Mm. Wow, they're really big. What's the size on those? These are 10 by 9. Wow. So 10 by 9, it's 38 centimetre strand, and they're champagne. So they're golden -y coloured. Oh, with the zircon that we had earlier. Oh, yeah. Do I have that oh. still? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? No, know. I don't. I don't. But you can use the imagination. In mm. fact, even with the amber. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That'd be really lovely. Oh, that is nice. The reason I mentioned the bowl thing is because I have done it in the past with uh, strands of our pearls. Thank you, darling. There's Leah straight on the ball. Or on the zircon, as the case maybe. <laughs> Lovely. Yes, they are gorgeous again, aren't they? Look sparkle. Yeah. With the smoothness and that yeah. pearlescence. Absolutely magical. Absolutely magical. And again, great as a bracelet, actually. It's one of those tones that goes with any skin colour. Well, if, if you pearl knot in between these, you definitely have enough for bracelet earrings and a necklace if you put Ooh. some chain around the back of the necklace yes so that's going to stretch it and obviously the um the pearl knotting will make it a long yes. length yeah, so yeah. yeah they're just such a beautiful they're, color as well aren't they they are really nice color yeah to actually have these and in fact if you wanted to intersperse them with um where have they gone where have they gone well, the, the morganite would look amazing with that Ooh, as well. Oh, hello, yes, I didn't think... Mm. Oh, for goodness sake, oh. I just can't get these strands to stay. Misbehaving. Yes, the morganite looks beautiful. Or if you wanted to go with uh, white pearls. Yeah. Again, that, that's a combination. Mm. Love it. £5.95, brilliant. Brilliant. Now... Next up, I have, oh, perfect for December stroke January, and you'll see why in a second. So perfect for December because of the colour. Perfect for January because it's January's birthstone. It's got it. Lovely faceting again. Yeah. Because you've got all the sparkle there, haven't you? If you wanted alternate, yeah. alternate, alternate, ultimate sparkle. <laughs> Sparkle, sparkle. Black spinel, zircon. Wow. 
Wow. Very, very much. That should be a bundle. Yeah, should be a kit for me. <laughs> for me. There we are. I think we've got a winner. Yeah. Got a winner there. Could, uh, could you possibly do a kit for Debs with the, yeah, these three go. strands? Sorted. Thanks. Brilliant. Now, the garnets are going to an ultra low price when you think about how much garnet would normally be. So this is 350 carats of faceted round garnet at a teeny weeny itsy bitsy 7.95, less than £10 for a strand as luxurious as this. That is amazing, though, isn't it? Yeah, really beautiful. And again, they're a nice size, so it's a big statement piece if you use them all together. Size matters when you want a statement. It does. Now, I'm going back to the jump rings that we had earlier on for a pound, because when, you, when it's only a pound, <laughs> you might as well put it with everything. Yeah. In between. Look at the colour. Yeah. That is Christmas right there. Yeah. Golden red. <laughs> <laughs> it is though, isn't it? It's brilliant. It <laughs> there is a huge amount of garnet on this strand. Seven of you still have it in your baskets. In fact, can we have a count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-two, four, six, eight, thirty-two, four, six, eight, forty. Hmm. Unless I miscounted, which I doubt it. That's twenty pence each. Whatty, whatty, wow. what, what? Those in earrings. Because you've got all the movement there, would work really well, wouldn't they? And you could then pop one of the, the spinel drops underneath oh, it. Oh, yes. Lush. Luscious. That's brilliant. Well done. If you managed to get a hold of that one, that's gorgeous. Now, oh, 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 oh. I don't remember where that came from, so I'm just going to pop it in this one over here somewhere. Now. <laughs> oh, is it? Which box? Oh, yes. I got the right one. <laughs> I love this little fella. I thought you would. Yeah. I love it too. Yeah. I love it too. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatio. <laughs> he had amber <laughs> eyes and everything. <laughs> and a grin that you could see across the room. <laughs> I love this little chap. So this is Bolt Camber, green amber actually, in a skull. Perfect for anything really. Skulls are still massive. Yeah, they are. Still massive they in are. fashion. Beautiful if you get two for a pair of earrings. Yeah. Little charm for a bracelet maybe. Little choker. Necklace. Just because. Bag charm, purse charm, zip for your boot charm. Oh, that'd be nice on your exact your boot zips, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. What's a boot charm? If if you have if you have a pair of boots, okay, and you've got a zip on it. Attach this with a jump ring to the zip. Yeah. That'd look amazing. Mm-hmm. £8.95. That's amazing. That is really, really amazing, actually. Really amazing. Love the look of this. We're getting two green amber as well. Yeah. You know, and for that price, you're all, it's almost like you're getting silver for free. <laughs> well, I've got, I got a love of a certain, certain charm bracelet. It's not the one you're thinking of. It's, it's the original one. And they do a great little selection of... Mm. I like spiders, so I've got to think for spiders. I like skulls mm. and, and various things like yeah. that. So 
um, I've got a sterling silver spider, which just the sterling silver is about £35, yeah. just for the one charm. Here, you're getting the sterling silver and you're getting amber at £8.95. Yeah. Bit of a difference when you think about it like mm. that. Yeah. As soon as you go for one of these um, alternative charm places, you put gemstones in, you're looking at £70, £80 pounds up. Yeah. A lot of the time, they're not even gemstones, though, are they? They're, 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 not, they're not very good quality if they mm. are, normally. If it's mm. emerald or ruby, it's normally the really poor, low-grade. Yeah. Yeah. Or the lower-grade. They're still beautiful, don't get me wrong. Really they're still beautiful, they're still gorgeous, but it's not like you need crystal clear or anything like that. Now, next up... Oh, I love this stone as well! Oh! <laughs> Grip. Sorry. <laughs> Definitely a grip there. Wow. Okay, so I love this stone anyway, but there's a glow to this. There is 160 of them. Or should I say that is how many we had oh. when they were launched? We've now got nine left. Is that it? Oh, natural. Chinese jadeite. Goodness, the glow on this is absolutely spectacular. It's you can't really a see it. Lovely color. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. It's, oh, they look amazing. Oh, it's taking all my energy not to put it on my face. Nine yeah, no, chances. I can, I can tell. <laughs> Seventeen pounds ninety-five. Oh. Mm. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> <sighs> there, that's better. Better. <laughs> better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, as a necklace, as a bracelet, that's just oh. It is. You are not getting anywhere near these. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There is a love between the two of us that just <laughs> My cannot... My was saying it needs a little rub on the jadeite. Yeah. My oh, nose. The... Your nose. My nose. Oh, go on then. <laughs> In my ear, my producer, my producer, my director's going, you're so weird. You're so weird. Why are you doing that? You've made them all warm on the ends. Yes. It's, oh, yeah, it's an energy nice. transfer, it's lovely. It is nice. It's there. I like it there. I am insisting this is going to become a thing. Rubbing gemstones on your face is going to become a thing. I'm going to start it. See, it works. It's nice. It needs to be just a little bit longer. <laughs> and I can tuck it behind my ear. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Because then you're not holding like your arms up. It's probably a bit odd. I feel like I've succeeded. <laughs> I've converted somebody, we... the first convert. <laughs> <laughs> the we gemstone could. way. <laughs> we could actually market these, you know. We could. There. <laughs> it's just really nice. See, Hang I on. told you, there's something about it being on the bridge of your nose. It just, it feels That's good. That's it. There we go. I've got it now. <laughs> That's, that is, no, it is, it's good. And Carry everyone, on. Everyone, everyone thought I was weird for so long. It is brilliant. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who is convinced. Four chances remain on this. You've made them warm now. I've made um, them On really this warm. particular strand. They are incredible. They are absolutely <laughs> incredible. Now... <laughs> If you've just tuned in and wondering what's going yeah, on, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. We apologise <laughs> profusely. Um, we were just caught up in the moment of the gemstone. Uh, going along with the same gemstone, um, this, however, is from a different location. This is Burmese jadeite, and you are getting your jade, jadeite body cones. There's oh. only seven chances remaining. I can't even remember seeing 
buy cones before. Well, you're probably not going to see them now because £11.95, they're going to go. Yeah, they, <laughs> they are. are going to go. So £11.95, your jadeite buy cones. See, these will look beautiful as a necklace. Yeah, sort of it, like spaces between the rounds. Or... Well, I was thinking more of like the, oh, no, no, okay, mm. no, rounds, rounds, and then one just hanging off. Yeah. Yeah. Or two hanging off. Well, they'd, they'd be really nice as earrings as well because yes. of that sort of diamond bicone shape. It's an elongated bicone almost, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. They're gone. Lovely. I told you they would do. Gone. Done. Done, done. Now, I told you it was on and gone. Now, the question is, what is next on the on and gone? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Preventing mm. you from doing what you love. <laughs> Ooh. It's worth it, though, isn't it? Oh, isn't that beautiful? I fell in love with this in the corridor. Sounds wrong when you say that. <laughs> It does. If you're yeah. wondering why I fell in love with this in the corridor, it wow. wasn't that I was, you know, standing around just, just eyeing gemstone. Oh, technically, that is what I you was were. doing. Yes. You were. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> um, so just before these come onto air, there is a set of shelves outside the studio in the corridor, um, and they are placed there. And just before a show, I always go and have a look at what, what they look like. And these ones... Because we get to see them as pictures on, on a computer screen, but it's not the same, is it? No. So I always go and have a nosy, have a nosy, and take a look. And, I mean, you can't help but fall in love with them because they are absolutely stunning. Wow. And look how expensive it looks. It does, yeah. Not £15. <gasps> that is not what I would have expected. I'd put another ten on that easily. £25 Maybe easy, yeah. Maybe double... Wow. I would be lazy with it because I think it's beautiful as it is and I'd just add a clasp and make it mm. into a necklace. That's it. Maybe because I'm lazy, but there's also the fact the beauty is there. You don't need anything more. No. Although for bracelets, that is yes. so pretty. Yes, it, oh, it is. And earrings. You could just cut. Yes, yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem right cutting it, but... Yeah, you, you say the word cut, and you look at this, and you go, yeah. no, no, don't do it. <laughs> no. But I would. Oh, I'd, you're ruthless. I'd take one from each end and make earrings. Definitely. And ironically, they're both the they're same both colour. both the same, yeah. So, but when you've mm. got a light weight chain bracelet, yeah. they are so beautiful. I had a charm bracelet for you. I need to know where that's gone. Oh. Is it only... It'll be somewhere safe. I hope so. Mm. It's got to be somewhere. It's got to be. Um, th th it's a lightweight one, and it's so beautiful to wear every day. There is lots of you with this in your basket. Check it out. Make it yours. Make it yours. There is something so lovely about a lightweight bracelet. Yeah. Just really easy to wear, isn't it? They and are. That looks incredibly high-end. I, I never used to take that bracelet off. No. Never used to take it off. You could sleep in it and not notice. Some bracelets, it's like... Yeah. Yeah. Too heavy and just cumbersome and you have to take it off. But with the one that I had, it was so, so nice to wear. Mm. So nice to wear. As a necklace, I think this That's would be gorgeous. exactly the same. It was so nice and lightweight, you wouldn't notice it's on, so you could wear it all day, every day if you wanted. Yeah. But again, just really pretty. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Susan, well done to you, my lovely. So pretty. So pretty. Now, which one are we doing? Oh, is it? It's already? Sorry about that, getting carried away. It is star by time. So going along with the pearl theme again, lavender pearls, these are gorgeous. They are really beautiful colour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
a very soft, mm. delicate purple, aren't they? They are. It's almost like, you know when you get the paint and they have um, jade white or apple white? Yeah. It'd be lavender, lavender white. white. Yeah. Hint these of. are brand... Yeah, hint mm. of, yes, that's right. Uh, these are brand <laughs> spanking new. They have never been seen before. I'm thinking of rose gold, and normally I don't say rose gold, but I'm thinking rose gold would look beautiful it with would. these. I'm also tempted to say, just turn it into a bracelet so you can look at it constantly. Yeah. We'll do exactly the same thing as we've just seen with that pearl chain. Yes. Mm. Yes. In fact, I'm just going to pop this around my neck for a moment, so just in case you decide you do want to just re-strand it, or knot it maybe if you wanted to make it a bit longer. But look, look. It's delicate and beautiful. Yeah, very classy. It is very classy, isn't it? Mm. Now, the price is not delicate, it's tiny. For a brand new strand of lavender freshwater cultured potato pearls. Less than ten pounds for a necklace, if you if you wanted to restrand and put a clasp on. Of course, you've got the cost of the findings there, and if you are wanting to to uh, knot it as well, seven pounds ninety five. <laughs> That's a treat yourself now, price, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah, it is. Naughty, mm. naughty. The surface quality as well on those is, mm. is really good. The nacre. Nacre, yes. Nacre, it's a horrible word, I think. It is. Nacre. You say you've got fantastic coloured pearls and you're thinking about pearls being glamorous and gorgeous and then you go, the nacre. Yeah. The surface, the pearlescence of the surface, that fantastic lustre that you get. Nacre. Um, the nacre is the surface. Um, it's, it's just it, beautiful, 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 beautiful. You see that, just mm. the way the light, it doesn't even bounce off it, does it? It sort of no. caresses it. It caresses it gently. And it has almost a glow. Yeah, it does. It's got an aura to it, almost. You know when you have photos taken, and if you've ever been to a professional uh, photography studio, or if you've been married and you've got... You, the, they, they have... Um, like screens that go over the lights to, to soften the light. It's almost mm. like that. You've got this wonderful sheen over the surface that just softens the light. Mm, I love it. Absolutely love it. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of love for these ones. Um, I've got Lorraine who's got hers. Well done to you. I've got Collector in Gloucester. She's got two of these. Lorraine in Somerset. Has, and that's two Lorraines. Uh, so one is in Perth. Uh, Perth and Kinross. And the other is in Somerset. So well done. And Shirley, well done to you, my darling. You've got yourself two as well. They are worth getting a hold of and getting a couple of if you can. Definitely. With the look that you're getting on this. Gorgeous. I am thinking. I'm thinking. I am still thinking bracelet. They're a good size for a bracelet. Because they're not too big and overpowering. Mm. So, yeah. Brilliant size. They'll look lovely with the, um, the gold pearls. Where did they go? Aha. Yeah, those two. They are magic, aren't they? Two together, definitely. I'm also yeah. thinking we've got some... Oh. Mm. Should we bring these next, actually? 
These are shell pearls, so that's why you've got that perfect round to them. And that's why you've got that super sheen to it. So. I'm saying that now. Phil's going, I don't know where they are. I can't find them. Oh, he's found them. He's found them. He's found them. Well done. There is only eight of these, I'm afraid. Baby pink shell pearls. Plain rounds. Those eight are not going to be on for much longer because check out the price. <laughs> £3.95. Teeny weeny! And they are a really lovely colour. Oh, yeah. The same baby pink? Yeah, I don't no, I'd, I'd, necessarily I'd, think I'd say they more are. coral or peach. Yeah, they are. They, they do have a definite peach, almost like a morganite. Yes. Where, where it's the mix of the pink and the peach. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Almost like an African morganite. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. £3.95. Bargain. Six chances remaining. That's it. Who is going to get them? So we had eight. How many? Oh, four. Okay, four left. Sorry, not, not six. They're going so quick. <coughs> oh, excuse me. They're brilliant. Hold those lines. They're going to end up going. Now... What next? Ooh. Oh dear, I'm throwing things around. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh -huh. So if... I'm not damaging the set, Phil. I'm not damaging <laughs> this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Is it? What was happening? What? what? Hold on, what's happening? Really? Oh. Are we allowed to say that? Is it's... I'm not allowed to mention it just yet, but something very exciting is happening. So it's okay for me to damage the studio. <laughs> <laughs> now... This. It's bicolored amethyst. It's almost got a dog tooth feel, doesn't it? With yes, the, um, it does. I yeah. want to say ricocheting. Chevrons, that's the word. <laughs> Not ricochet. <laughs> ricochet is completely the wrong term. <laughs> there we are. It's because I'm thinking of it going down and up yeah. and ricocheting back yeah, off. Ricocheting, yeah. Those bouncy <laughs> amethyst. That bouncy, bouncy, please don't bounce your amethyst. Please don't. It will end badly <laughs> in so many levels. Now, so you've got these fantastic, huge... I'd turn these into... What would I turn this into? Rings. I'd make rings. No, key rings. Key rings. Mm. Ah. Because I had a key ring like this many years ago, and I've never been able to replace it, and I loved it. Yeah, it, but the shape, it, it's just really tactile, isn't it? Yeah. But then I also like this one. I like that one. So you would turn these into rings. How would you do that? Well, you've got the, the drill hole, so it's really simple. Just one piece of wire through there, and then you, you can just really play with... Yeah. Um, you, wouldn't, you don't need to sort of close it all in. You can keep it quite open Ooh. because you've got the drill hole, so it's secure. Maybe the big one would be a necklace, the massive one in the middle, but... Yeah, that one's perfect. Big cocktail ring? Mmm. Yes, I agree with the pendant on that. Oh, the yeah. key ring, the key ring. Key, key ring. ring would work, yeah. You wouldn't be able to charge as much for a key ring, though. As a pendant, no. no. But even if you charge £5 for the key ring, if you yeah. did four key rings, you still got. You've made your money back then, haven't you? Yeah. And you still got one, you've two, got... three, four, five. Yeah. That's a bargain. That is a bargain. You might actually get a few more on there if you oh, have a no, smaller. Oh no, that's my favourite one. Which one? The, you see the one, the big one in the middle. This one. Yeah. Move that one. Yeah. That's my favourite.
Apologies for the silence there. I still have this really annoying tickle in my throat. I've been, I had, I've been ill for a month. And it's just, it seems to be just, I don't know, it just won't go. And it, every so often I get this really horrible tickle. So someone's giving me a lozenger now. Um, hold those lines on that one. Oh, I think you'll like this. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like lemon meringue pie. It is. <laughs> The lozenge is here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it is like lemon meringue pie. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I like the dots. I like the dots. Yeah, it's it reminds me a bit of tie dye as well mm. because you've got like the the different patterns going on with it which is really really cool it's going to sound very random but it reminds me of a giraffe you know okay. the patterning a giraffe the, has. yeah yeah the speckly effect yeah it's almost tribal yes in fact if you put this with botswana oh nice i just want to find that those ones that i love the stripes and spots yeah yeah. Three pounds ninety-five. They are flying out. Kyoto, well done to you, my lovely Deborah. Well done to you, Tracy. Well done to you. They are brilliant, aren't they? And again, for stretches, these are really good, aren't they? they? Are. They're a good size. They've got a good drill hole. Nice colour as well. Mm. Yeah. The yellows are really vibrant, beautiful. I like the stripes that you're getting on some of them. Yeah, they've got a lot going on. They're they're really interesting gemstone. Mmm. Nice. They are indeed. Beautiful look. Great for earrings. Yep. Yeah. And again, you, you'll have the movement. So mm. you've got the, the sparkle with the facet in. Sparkle. Nice. That's so pretty. Right. Hold those lines on this one. <clears throat> now, you love this one. I know you love this one. Uh, yeah, I, I know what's coming. I, I just think these are... They've got to be my favourite spacers ever. My favourite spacers all because, the time. Yeah. They don't, I don't even think they're spacers. They're just metal elements. Rings. Sterling silver um, elements. And they're, they're... Well, they're like a charm on their own, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're fab. I love the fact that they're really clean and contemporary and just... The size of them is fantastic. They're lovely. They're so well made and polished and fab. Well, if oh, you had... Look at that. They are brilliant, aren't they? That is fab. If you had a snake chain, quite a thick snake chain for a bracelet, yeah. slip one of those on, yeah. done. Done. That's all you need. All you need. Wow. It's rose gold as well over the um, sterling silver. So it's rose gold over 925 sterling silver. So it's the 18 karat gold over the sterling silver. And you've, they are substantial. Yeah, they are. They are substantial. You would just need the one. Although I am tempted to put three on. Well, what I would do is put, um, make a pair of earrings and a necklace Very or nice. a bracelet. And I'd loop some chain through... And then, so you'd have basically a, a loop of chain with one of these sitting on for the earring. Yeah. And then the same for a bracelet, but with two lengths of chain going through. Yeah. So it's then sitting like a connector at the front. Very nice. But I just think they're, they're absolutely beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. And if you wanted to, you could um, get them engraved, which would be quite nice as well. And yes. if you did that, you would get, the um, sterling silver coming through where the engraving is and the rose gold. That would make a nice contrast as well, be, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be lovely. And then become a two tone effect. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Magic, magic, magic. £11.95. Mm. Bargain! I'd be multi buying these if, if I was a. Uh, multi buy to your heart's content. 
You are getting such an amazing, amazing amount of silver in this, 3.7 grams. If, if you look at them as well and you look at the, um, the edges, it's not like it's just a tube that's just been sliced up. No, they're curved. They're, they've actually got a slight curve on them and a little tiny lip on them as well. So they're, they're just made really well. I'm getting in and for a close-up. That's why I love them so much, I think, is that attention to detail. Yeah, they really are. They really are amazing. I see the lip as well. Yeah, just got a little tiny lip yeah. that, that means it, it strengthens them so they're not going to crush. You know, they're going to be really strong as well. There you go. Thank you, my lovely. Mm. Next up. Oh, you mentioned this gemstone earlier on. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a nice colour. Where's this one from? Is this China? Oh, hello. That explains mm. it. Okay, so it's it's a slightly different colour than I'm used to. No, of course it's green. Apparently yeah. it's green. But this is actually from South Africa. Look at the difference in colour. Say look at the difference in colour. If you know your peridots, you'll know the difference in colour. So Chinese peridot, it's a slight... Oh, how do I describe it? You've got... It's more of a yellowy green, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, lime sort of... Yeah, like a... Like a citrusy, but then this is quite... Cit this is... You've, oh, yeah, it, it is. Citrusy, but this is more... That's, that's almost a softer lime green. I'd say this is apple green. Apple green. That's, that's what it is, that's yeah. That's kind of your Granny Smith. No, not even Granny Smith. It's more of like a Golden Delicious type. Mm. Oh, Golden Delicious no, red. Granny, Granny Smith. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Granny Smith. We're going along with Granny Smith. <laughs> Anyone else want to put any more uh, apples in the mix, you're more than welcome to. We're sticking with Granny Smith right now. Or even maybe Bramley apple without the red bits. <laughs> Whatever it is. Uh, this is more of sort of a, a red, not a red. What am I talking about? No, it's green. Not red. It's more of a it's no. more of an apple green than yeah. a than a lime, lime green, green, which is what yeah. your and the Chinese paradise. It's lime is. green, yeah. Well I'm looking at this game, it's very limey. <laughs> it is fabulous. Four pounds ninety-five, tiny tiny price point. Get it. I I would say get it for the location because I've yeah. never seen, never seen South African peridot. No. I'm and it makes sense that it w you would get it from South Africa because you get diamonds from South Africa. Yes, you do. And diamonds yeah. and peridot, and peridot. the only two gemstones yeah. that fall with the mantle of the earth. Yeah. So it yeah. makes perfect sense. So it sense. does make sense when you think about it, yeah. Mm. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although I've never seen it. This is the first time I've seen it. That is magical. How many of these do we have? It's lovely. Can you just say that again? I love that. You just said we've got a good quantity. We've got 30. I thought that as well, yeah. <laughs> it's not a good quantity. If you said 300, <laughs> Phil, that's a good quantity. 30 is not a good quantity. All I can say is grab it while you can. <laughs> yeah. It'd be really interesting, actually, to put it with some Chinese peridot and just that would see be the, the difference. That... Do you know what would be quite nice as well? Is to actually have a series of the different tones of peridot. So your khaki greens, your chartreuse greens, yeah. your Chinese peridot, this one, and just have a, a strand of. So you can yeah, just go, mix. Whoop. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I love it. Ah. Lynn says, how about neon chartreuse? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I like the idea of that. Mm. That works. I'm going to squeeze one more in. Now, I've actually got a green amethyst connector. And I'm going to have to hold it with this because my fingernails are not long enough anymore. Sterling silver as well. I'm oh, loving wow. the sterling silver, actually. 
Look at, you can see your flower in there. Oh, you can. The dress. Hello. Yeah. Not only is that reflective, but that is also a mirror like, isn't it? It is. It looks really metallic in that recording, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. That's incredible. I love, love the effect of that. £7.95. So you've got, I'm just going to show you the back for a second. So it's 95 sterling silver around the back and around the outside. Uh, and it's a good amount of silver as well, isn't it? it Two is. grams. Yeah. We're upside down. <laughs> That's brilliant. Of course, quartz does that anyway. It's got a great way of amplifying things and almost magnifying things, yeah. I suppose. And it's 7.95. I mean, even for the, just the silver on its own, for 7.95 is fantastic. The fact you're getting that gorgeous gemstone there as well. That's brilliant. So what would you do with this Lovely. one then? Um, I'd be tempted to get two and use it as a connector in earrings. I thought you were going because, to say earrings. Yeah, it's because perfect, the light's yeah. going to come through so well. And because the, the actual bezel doesn't close it down, you'll get loads of light in. Yeah, because you've got the back and you've got that glow, yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. What would you attach but at the bottom, then? I'd put um, a briolette drop or the black spinel, that sort of faceted drop on the bottom. Yeah. Um, or even some... Just some sterling silver chain. Oh, that'd be Maybe nice. a, little tassel. a little tassel on yeah. the bottom. Beautiful. Be nice as a necklace as well with the little tassel, wouldn't it? Yes. So get three. Make, Seven pounds ninety-five. Yeah. I mean, it's worth doing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely worth doing. I'm thinking it's of a lovely. bracelet as well on one of the yeah. um, speaker chains. The, yeah. That would be lovely. Yeah. Just that in the centre. That should be quite nice with a gold speaker chain. Yeah, it would. And you'd have the contrast then, wouldn't yeah. you? The two-tone effect. Oh, I love it. Oh, even a ring. Hello. Oh, yes. Look at the glow. It is magical, that. Yeah. It's, yeah, really nice. Now, after that, we've got what? <laughs> really? Am I allowed to say that then? Right, OK, we've got pearls after the break under a fiver. And, of course, it's the final kit as well. It's going to be amazing. So, my goodness me. Pearls <laughs> under £5. Coming up. There we are. Get ordering early on those ones. They're brilliant. Now, don't go anywhere. We shall see you in. Tune in this Thursday for the launch of Joe Barkley Logie's first ever DVD. Learn how to create this exquisite French beaded floral centerpiece. Joe will guide you through how to design beautiful flowers using the basic and fancy continuous loop technique, along with other seed beading techniques. Decorate your Christmas table this year with this stunning statement piece. So make sure you're tuned in this Thursday at 2 o'clock. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase.
Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. We're very excited to welcome back Amy K. Sweet McNamara, who's flying in straight from the USA to join us this weekend for our Christmas market show. Amy is the proprietress of Amy Run With Scissors and is a Sutash and Shibori artist. Amy is one of Jewelry Maker's suppliers of Shibori ribbon, which is handmade in-house by her and her team. She will be appearing on your screens this Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. and will be inspiring you with all her invaluable design knowledge. Amy K. Sweet McNamara, this weekend on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello, welcome back. I'm Laura Lou, and this, of course, is a Jewelry Maker Late Show. And I did promise you pearls under five pounds. It is my star buy, and it is going to go under five pounds. And of course, it's going to be pearls, isn't it? So we're looking at white freshwater cultured pearl nuggets. They are eight by seven mil, and it's a 41 centimetre strand that we're looking at. It is gorgeous. I love the fact they are nuggets and they are so pretty because you've got areas that are flat you've got areas that are not you've got areas that are rounded you've got all these different surfaces and all this wonderful space that the light can play with and because of that you're getting this wonderful there's a multitude of colors coming through so you've got the pinks shining through you've got those wonderful orangey tones coming through there as well they are just magical through and through in each and every way just look at the pearlescence that you're getting five pounds done <laughs> If you want two, get two. If you want three, get three. If you want four, get four. By all means, get as many as you would like because that's an amazing, amazing, amazing price. So many things you could do with them. So many things. I wanted to put them with anything and everything. Anything and everything. What would you do with them? Because they have got the flat bottom on them they're really good for stitching into shibori or Ooh. um you know for adding into your beadwork and things yes because they sit flat um yeah so they're nice and secure on the the base yeah and it looks like you've got a lot of pearl there because it's all sort of because it's all encompassed inside yeah. the shibori yes yeah that makes sense. so it's, it's really good for that or stitching into your lace Ooh. as well really good but because also um they just make brilliant rings because course, they have yes. got the flat base and again it's so they sit yeah they sit nice and neat and and close to the finger could you glue so, them on then would that yeah you could oh. yeah yeah there you go that actually makes perfect sense it does make perfect sense love the way you've got that effect as well you've got the dome shape flat area yeah. dome shape so you can see what yeah. we're talking about the flat and the dome bits there. Flat domed. Flat dome. <laughs> Flat domed. 
They are beautiful, really, really beautiful. They've got that sheen, got that wonderful, wonderful way the light dances across the surface of each and every single one. Oh, that one's so pretty. Almost a button-like one, that one Yeah. Is. They work really nicely in um, macrame as well oh, because course. they sit flat again, but then you've got the, the domed, domed side. Flat, domed. Yeah, flat, flat domed. domed. Flat, so, domed. again, it, it just works really well for yes. that. Yeah, I love the idea of that. It'd be great for sewing onto wedding dresses and things. Yeah, as it would. As well. Yeah. Love it. I'm going to leave that there with you then, my lovely. And I'm going to bring to you some more pearls. Now, there's only ten of these, I'm afraid. Now, these are buttons. And they do have a flat and a domed section. Flat domed, flat domed. <laughs> it's a bit more prominent, though, on these ones. So these ones are your fresh water cultured pearl buttons. So you can see they are very much a button shape. Very much a button look. They are so pretty, aren't they? They are so pretty. And for £6.95, that's amazing! Look at the size of them. 10 by 7 millimetres. It's a 17 centimetre strand. Oh, definitely just grab it. Grab it while you can. Grab it while you can. I would be tempted to use them as buttons as well. Yeah. Yeah, you could um, just use a head pin and do a little wrap loop at the back. Yep. And then you can stitch them on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that would be so pretty. That would be They're so gorgeous. pretty. gorgeous. Great if you sit them back to back because of the areas that are flat. Yeah. There's only four left, did you say? Four chances remain, and that's it. They're going to go. They are going to go. And the colours are so wonderful as well, aren't they? They are. Got the peaches. Got those almost lavender tones there as well. Beautiful. Beautiful look to each and every one. Magic. Now, next up... Oh, some more poils. Oh. Oh, they <laughs> are lovely. So if you love the black pearls earlier on, you'll love these because these are a larger version. 9 by 10 millimetres. It's an 18 centimetre strand, so again, perfect length for a bracelet. Or, of course, if you, you were saying if you knot them, you could get earrings out of them as well, couldn't you? Yeah, and you, you need to allow for the clasp. Yes. So, again, that gives you extra. Yeah, £6.95 for the strand. There's only seven, though, I'm afraid. Seven chances. Seven chances at seven pounds each. They're lovely. They've got the peacock tones, greens, purples. Can you see that there? Lovely array of colours, considering. I love the purple. Mm. Slight blues coming through as well. Yeah, there's all sorts, actually. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Loving it. Five chances remain. Two gone straight away. To a collector in Middlesex, well done. Earrings, you could turn these into studs, couldn't you? Yes. You have a little yeah. silver centre in the hole. Yeah, you could, just using um, wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, glue it in. They're just, they're magical. They're a lovely I, size as well for are. earrings. Yeah, they absolutely are. Mm. I am still tempted by the uh, bracelet or a choker, if you had... Yeah. In fact, going to the speaker chain again, if you've got the long version of the speaker chain, the necklace version, mm. and just attach this at the front, that would yeah. be really nice, because then you've got the gold colour coming through, which is really bright, and then you've got yeah. that wonderful darker section with the pearls as well. Love it. They've gone, they have gone, they've gone, they've gone. Now I'm doing one more, and then we've got the kit. So I'm going to bring to you, oh, this is Phil's favourite, four wow. of these remain this is tiny quantity available for a massive massive strand it's a 40 centimeter strand and it is a multicolored sapphire strand so mm -hmm. look at all the different if you can see now i've started shaking it all the different colors you've got pinks you've got blues you've got yellows can you see the greens oranges in there as well i mean that is incredible Absolutely incredible. 
I'm loving the yellow at the moment. It is graduated and believe it or not, see, 47.95, Phil's just said we're nowhere near that price. I, I think that is a ridiculously low price for what you're getting. That is incredible for the amount of colour variety that you're getting and the quality. Are they treated at all? No, not treated. Completely not treated. £28.95, there are four chances and that is it. I also love the fact they've got this wonderful tonality to them that makes them really unisex. So whether you're male or female, add it as a beautiful band. It's got a tribal feel to it. It's mm. absolutely stunning. Yeah, they are beautiful. Really lovely colours. And for the length of the strand as well, that's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, but there is only four. Not anymore. Two chances remain. It is most definitely worth getting a hold of them. I don't know if we're going to get this strand back in again. Hopefully we will, but who knows? Ooh, that pink is lush. Sorry, I've just pinpointed one pink on the strand. Mm -hmm. This one's quite nice as well, actually. The yellow one's really pretty too. Who's going to get the final two? That is always going to be the question, isn't it? Now, at the moment, it's between Debbie, Julia and Sharon. Oh, who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? They don't know. They don't know. Oh, dear. It's always nerve-wracking, isn't it? Beautiful. Now, I do believe, I'm going to get off the chair. I got really short really quickly, didn't I? <laughs> I thought right. you jumped into a hole. <laughs> Not thanks, really. Thanks for that. Not really. Love you. <laughs> Sorry about that. There was one extra thing on there that wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> and I just took the whole thing away. Um, yes, hello. Hello. Hey. How hello. are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good, how are you? Now, we have got this gorgeous kit, which the theme has been charms for wine glasses, but all other charms are available, of course. You can <laughs> add them to anything, really. Um, so, we are looking at a pack including 10 metres of gold coloured silver plated copper wire in 0.4. And also silver plated copper wire in 0.4. On top of that, you then have your crystal Swarovski bicones, a 24 pack, which are 8 mil. You then get your Swarovski crystal bicones in emerald AB, which is 4 mil and it's a 48 pack. You get them also in light Siam, and that's an AB, and that's 6 mil, and that's also a 48 pack. And finally, you get them in light topaz, which is AB again, and it's 4 mil in a 48 pack. So you get all of those four different varieties of your Swarovski bicones, and you get two spools of your wire. You get a total of 168 Swarovski. It's a massive amount. I love the topaz ones. They're so bright, aren't they? And, of course, they've got the AB on them. In fact, the green is so beautiful. I mean, the emerald green, absolutely. Look at how yeah. vivid that is. I love the emerald green colour. Well, it's the emerald, the Siam, and the topaz are all AB, so they've got that sort of two-tone effect. Yeah. It's fabulous. Now, we should be at £29.70. But we're not going to do that today. We are going to be naughty, naughty. Really, <laughs> really naughty, naughty. And take it down to £19.95. That works out at, component-wise, what is it, individual? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, £3.35. 
33 per component. That's amazing. That's really How good. did you find it? So you were given the theme uh, of... Wine glass charms. Mmm. And how did you but, find the wine glass charms? Well, I started off, I wanted to just make earrings instead. But I behaved. I did think they were. Some of them were earrings. They, well, they could be. And the amount of questions, are they, are they rings? Yeah. <laughs> are they so rings? they could be. They, they could, could be. be. Rings, they could be earrings. Um, but, yeah, it's really nice, actually, to, to come up with lots of different versions yeah. Um, because obviously the the idea is that they're all different. Um, so they're great for weddings because they're like little individual gifts. Yeah. Which is really lovely. Yeah. And the idea of the wine glass charm is so if you're at a party, it, it identifies your glass, so you don't yes. pick up somebody else's glass. Yeah. So every single one is different. Um, I love the heart ones. I love the heart ones mm -hmm. as well. I just, really do. I think they're um, they're like lace. They are actually, yeah. And um, yeah, so I thought we could look at how to do the hearts. <laughs> but I've got tons of kit still left. I've got loads of wire left. I've got loads of Swarovski left. But you so, could turn them into earrings if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably come back and make the second half of the pair of earrings. Ah. I quite like them as they are, but sort of, so they're, they're different. So they're different, yeah. yeah. Because they're, some of them are the, exactly Abstract. the same design, yeah. but just different colours. Yeah. So... Yeah. It's a bit abstract. Yeah. I actually like the very end one where you've got the heart and then you've got just the single, the single drop. drop. Yeah. That's the, really nice. Yeah. Really lovely. Yes, I'd wear, wear that as earrings. As they're a pair party. Of earrings. They're party season. Yeah. They are party season. That's an absolute for me. Party season done. Mm -hmm. So which one are you demoing? The um, arty art. We will look at the heart. And yeah. then, obviously, you can do all sorts of different bits with it. But it would make a really nice connector for a bracelet as well at this size. Yes. I think. So. Do I need to spring. stand back, don't I? I'm just trying to find the end without it all springing. Because it fell off my reel. Oh. <sighs> there you are. Can I come back now? Yeah. It's safe. So what I did was I took um, three lengths, well no it's one length but I measured three times along a board because then I knew that all my hearts were the same size. Um, so all I did was left one of the tails hanging out a little bit and then scrunched up the rest. Oh, I like the idea the wire. of this. I know it, it's <laughs> so, it's just really easy. There's no um, big plan with it, and it, it's just a bit random, which is nice. It's not regimented, and the point uh, the point four wire is fab because it holds the shape without being too heavy. So the the other end, just roll it in so that it's not going to catch and it disappears then into the scribble. <laughs> so what we've got is almost like a drop shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the pointy end of the heart on that end and don't worry about it being perfect and then this end is, is curved and to, to get that shape just push in on one of the ends and it'll start to form the right sort of triangular shape and then give it a bit of a squidge with some flat pliers and then with your round nose pliers at the top 
where it, you've got the curve, just grip through all of the wires. Okay, so you'll, you'll have holes and gaps in there. So just in the centre of it, grip through and then pull it. Hang on, if I do it that way, you can see. Just pull that and twist it. And what that will do is create the little bow at the top of the heart. So just then form it around and you can see how that's starting to create that shape. That's pretty. So it's, it's quite loose and, and um, open and you, you don't really want it too structured and sort of regimented on the edges or anything. So what you can do if you want to tidy it up is take flat nose pliers and just bend the edges in and around. So that one wants to loop out, but we'll, we'll deal with that in a bit. Okay, so here we've got a little bit of wire that's not quite in line with the rest so I'm just going to bend that round and tuck it down and then that's that's as sort of regular as I want it so now with this tail that we left out what I'm going to do is wrap round the outer edge and just catch that around and any loose bits like this piece that wants to sort of deviate completely I'm just going to go through the end the loop there if I can that's it okay pull it through and then that will pull that back into line so it's mm. then not sticking out so just keep wrapping it around and what I did was make sure that at the bottom I had somewhere that I could just um, attach a drop that's sitting onto a head pin. So I'll just get this end wrapped into it. But you don't need to you don't need to worry about putting any loops or any connectors or doing any sort of technique to create areas to join things on because basically you've got loads of spaces in there where you can you can add either gemstones or your, your Swarovski or chain because it's so lacy. So that's that. I'm just going to trim that end off and then what we're going to do is tuck that section in. So loop it up and wrap it round and if you wrap and push down it will just disappear into the rest of the heart and that's super smooth so you'll not you'll not end mm. up with any scratchy bits yeah so, so if you decide to wear them as earrings then it's not going to be yeah, a, a, a or, problem or on a bracelet yeah. you know that's not scratching at all it's smooth brilliant so What we're going to do is pop, let's put one of the Siam. These are great with the AB a, on. It's really nice because the AB just shows up fantastically. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, so pop it on your head pin, trim the end off. Simple loop. Ink it back so it's nice and straight coming up and then open that up and we'll just put that at the bottom through one of the gaps and if if there um, there isn't a gap that you can use then what you can do is is just push um, an, a, a t-pin through the bottom or uh, one of your your 
balls or something just to create a little bit of a gap in your wire work but that's then on the bottom and then the most simple um, charm would just pop that then onto your shepherd's hook so open up the the loop at the bottom and just close that down and it's got loads of movement there so it's just just really nice simple earring i like that as an earring yeah yeah i really do if um if you wanted to to make it into a charm from for on a glass just if you just open up the um head pin and straighten it head pin not head pin well essentially it is a head pin she shepherd's hook though um, straighten it up a bit and then just bend it round so that can then just sit on the top of your your glass but uh, that's it do you know what I'd like as well nice and simple it is nice and simple. I'd like a coloured wire to go through that. Yeah, that'd be so nice. So you could mix maybe a red or a green. Yeah. yeah. That'd be quite nice. Particularly if you're going with a with cyan colour. Cyan colour, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. that'd be really nice. I like it, like it. Thank you very much, my lovely. Thank you're you. You're welcome. For that. Now, believe it or not, it's not my time. <laughs> <laughs>
What would you do with it if I gave you one? No more than one. 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 I'd use it as um, offset on a necklace. Ooh. And then Ooh. maybe lots of chains coming off the I was bottom and ch one chain going from the point around, but lots of chains coming off at the bottom. Yeah. And, and yeah, I um, can see that. I'd probably use ribbon cord ends to to connect all my chains too. Just want to see what it's like with pearls. It's gonna be nice actually. Yeah. It was a nice combination. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. Loving the look of it. Mm. Now let's squeeze a few more in. Now red. Red. Or orange. Depending on how you're looking at it. I'd say it was a ready orange. Yeah, it's like a burnt orange yeah. colour. Yeah, sienna orange. Mm, nice. That's gorgeous. Red orange, quartzite. That is gorgeous. That's is. a Hannah Osborne strand, it's lovely. isn't it? If there was ever one. <laughs> I kind of want to put it with uh, a brighter orange. Yeah, we had one earlier, didn't we? We um, did. We did, we did. Yeah. In fact, I quite like to put it with a yellow... Um, Yes. That was in the last hour, wasn't it? Yeah, I'd love to put it with a yellow one. Just, just, just the idea of this with something that's a bit brighter. Yeah. That cuts through it. Or even with a purple. A purple would work Ooh. with that. Yeah. Purple. Yeah. I'm just destroying the set. I do apologise. <laughs> love the look of that. Great colour. It's ideal for any time of the year, really, isn't it? I mean, it's it's ready enough to go towards Christmassy colours. It's orangey enough to be autumnal. It's yeah. kind of fresh enough for it to be summery. Love That's it. lovely. Really versatile as well. Very, very, very. And size-wise, it's 10 mil, so it's a fantastic size as well. Now, what can we do? £3.95! Oh, yes. £3.95. I love the colours. They're almost... I know it's slightly orangey, but it's almost uh, cranberry. Hmm. Maybe a bit too orange to be cranberry, to yeah. be fair. More of that burnt orange. I just love it, though. Yeah. And again, really good sized drill hole. Yeah. So, get lots of cord through there. Yeah, it is. It's a magic, magic quality to it. Love the look. In every way. Oh, they are fab. I'm thinking of putting it with turquoise. Oh, nice. Very yeah. bold. Very, very dramatic, bold, but, but I think it would yeah. work. That would look fab. Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. Big, bold and beautiful. I would say like me, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm bold. <laughs> I'm bold. I'm definitely bold. You're not, no. No. You're not. I'm not bold. I thought I was, but no. No, you're not bald. No. Bold, not bald. <laughs> bald. Bald! <laughs> I'm bald, I am bald. I was thinking, why is she telling me she's... <laughs> not bald? <laughs> not bald. No, she's not bald. <laughs> no, you're right, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, you've got quite a lot of hair. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. <laughs> oh, oh dear. dear. I'm seeing circles again. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> oh dear, it's just descended into mayhem. At least we got towards the end of the show before it descended into mayhem. Well, in fairness, it was a little bit earlier than that, it wasn't was, it? Yeah, but it was. Ho hum, ho hum. Right, moving on. <laughs> We're going to. Oh, do you know what? These two together. Oh, yes. These two together. So if you've got the orange red, orange stroke red, uh, then go for your blue colour dyed quartz because that's the look that I was thinking of when I was saying put it with turquoise. turquoise. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking at a 38 centimetre strand on this one and then nine mils. Previous ones were 10 mils, I believe. Now this is two pounds 95. Oh, do you know what this would go nice with? That purple again. Yeah, it would. Mm. 
That is brilliant. So you can put it with loads of different colours. It looks fantastic. It's a great price point as well if you want to start practising um, various different techniques and you don't want to go for one of the more expensive strands. You've got that option there as well. For kids, if you have kids who want to do jewellery making, they're a good size. It's 9mm, so they're easy to thread. They've got a good size drill hole on there as well. So if you want to start them off doing maybe simple earrings or stretchies, you are more than welcome to do that. Oh, they're brilliant, aren't they? I know it's far, 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 far in the distant future, but if you're thinking about summer holidays or even Christmas holidays, you need yeah. something to entertain kids, don't you, really? Well, yeah, at this time of year, the weather's so unpredictable. Cold. Yeah. Unless you're in Tenerife. <laughs> yeah. On a balcony. On a balcony. Mm. In the sunshine. <laughs> Those two together look fab. They do. Amber. Blue and orange are complementary colours, yes. aren't they? Mm. They are stunning. Um, I'm actually going to pop this with it as well and Ooh, see what this does. Nice. What does this do? Mm. Hello. I was not quite expecting that response, but there you go. Beachwear. Love it. In fact, I'll bring this one next for you. Love it. So, great size, great colour. Put it with pearls. So you've got the brightness of the blue, and then if you go for the pearls as well, they've got that lovely, lovely tone to it. Great stuff. Now I'm going to bring you the abalone. E. <laughs> However you want to say it. Um, so we've got oh, purple, pink, purple, pink. Purple, purple. So many colours. <gasps> I'm, I'm just focusing massively on the purple, though, that because it's yeah. one of my favourite colours and I love it. Yeah. But look at the purple, purple, purple. I love the blues as well. Oh, look at those. Pretty much all the colours you could want are in this particular... Oh, blues. Blues. Oh, blues, wow. Blues. Did you see that blue just coming around? Blue. Yeah. Blue, blue. Purple, purple, purple. Blue, blue, blue. Purple, <laughs> blue. They are gorgeous. So many things you could do with them as well. Apart from just look at it, because that's what I'd probably do. Uh, £10.95, and every single one is individual. You've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen on this particular strand, approximately. It works out about 79 pence each. Oh, yes. It does work out about 79 pence each, which is amazing. That is ridiculous, isn't it, yeah. if you think about it? yeah. 79 pence. What can you buy for 79 pence these days? Mm. How much is a stamp? I don't know. Because they keep going up, don't they? Every time yeah. I look at a stamp, they're like, what? Yeah, I don't know. I've not sent a letter for ages. First class, apparently 65 pence. Ah? Huh? There you go. Is that for letter? Yeah. A letter. That's for a letter. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad, actually. Hmm. If you think about everything that it has to go through, it's got to go True. through sorting, it's got True. a um, petrol as well, it's got to be transported, it's got to go to the main warehouse, mm. and then they get hand-delivered as well. Yeah. That's actually really no, good. No, actually, that is good, isn't yeah. it, when you think about it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Hmm. I'm happy with the price of stamps. Apparently, they stopped making postcards now, haven't they? Have they? I think so. Why? Do they not make... I, I don't know. I saw something on the news, and I may be wrong. Don't, don't quote me on this. <laughs> uh, but there was a particular postcard factory that mm -hmm. stopped making postcards because people don't send them very much anymore. Oh, I quite like sending a like postcard. I like sending postcards. Yeah. I think it's lovely. I think it's just... There's something nice about it. Mm. It means you're being thought of when someone's having a good time. Yeah. Anita. In, te in Tenerife. In Tenerife. <laughs> Postcard. <laughs> this is it. I know, I know we've got things like we can send texts and we can send... But it's not the same, though. It's not the same because this is... I love the idea of old school and actually, mm. like, we're talking about the price of stamps. That's a really good price considering mm. all of the processes that it goes through. I do, I love it, I love it. Send, send it, send it via mail. Yeah. I'm talking to mail. Doesn't matter how many items you buy from us here. 
£2.95 is all you'll be paying. That is it. So you could buy this strand, which is really lightweight, which is fabulous, and you can buy a strand, say a pyrite that's really heavy, or a hematite that's really heavy. You can add as many of those as you want to the order, and you will still only pay, if, as long as it's within the, the 24 hour period, so from 12 midnight to 12 midnight, as long as it's within that time frame, it will be one £2.95 that you pay for the postage. Mm. That's, that is brilliant. brilliant, isn't it? It's brilliant. It so, is. moving on from this one, I'm going to bring to you... Boop, 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 boop. Oh. I do love this particular opal. It's Peruvian opal. I made a very silly faux pas once upon a time. I said it's Peruvian opal from Peruvia. <laughs> Peru. It's from Peru. My dad will never let me live that one down. <laughs> Peruvian opal from Peruvia. <laughs> he was watching. Hmm. Mike just said, why did you let him know about it? He was watching. He found it hilarious. It was one of my very first shows. Oh, you were nervous. Yes. And you just... The first show I did, I was so nervous. I was sh visibly shaking, mm. visibly shaking to the point where I actually went, I'm really sorry, it's my first time and I'm just a little bit nervous about it. So apologies for the handshake. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> um, Mike's just asked, is it more nerve wracking doing my acting than presenting? Mm, no, no, because I'm not me. Yeah. When you're acting, you're not you, you're somebody else. But when. I never thought I'd be a presenter because it's, I, I thought the idea of me being me was quite petrifying. It terrifies me. Yeah. <laughs> it is terrifying. You being you, being judged, yeah. being you. If you're being judged being a character, like, it's all right. It's not that they don't like me, it's they don't like the character, it's fine. But if yeah. they don't like you, you'll be you. And it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is not from Peruvia. This is from Peru, and it's Peruvian opal. It's beautiful graduated rondelles, and it's seven pounds ninety-five. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone. Let me take a look. Look, look at the combination of colours that you're getting here. That is a holiday. That is a holiday in a strand. That's a really bright blue, isn't it? Can I just really check? There's no treatment to this. It's completely natural. Oh, naturale! This is for a bright, bright blue. Yeah. Natural. It's incredible. It's kind of, it's completely different colour, of course, to Larimar, but it's along those lines, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I love, Beautiful. I love the fact you've got the little sandy colours coming through there as well. Yeah. It is a stunning strand, and I would just restrand it. That's my personal opinion on it, because I love it as it is. What I'd, would you do I'd with it, though? i put crimp tubes in Ew. between each one. Oh, what about those um, long... Yeah. Oh, bo, 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 bo. The long tubes, the yes, square. Yes, the square tubes, yes. Yeah. They would look really amazing. Nice. Yeah. The square tubes are still available. They were with us earlier on, so take a look at the website and you'll see the ones we're talking about. Um, they were a fantastic price. Now, I'll leave that there with you. Good luck on that one. Oh, you're going to love this. If you like amethyst, you're going to love this. Amethyst nuggets. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Aren't they a lovely shape and colour? Aren't they just? Yeah, they are. Beautiful shape and colour. They've got like a, a mysterious, almost a, almost a mistiness to these. They are fabulous. When you see the price, it is going to make you cry. <laughs> Tiny. £5.95 for a huge... Right, if you went into, and I'll keep mentioning this, go into a gift shop mm. where they have tumbled gemstones. Maybe yeah. you've gone to a museum or a mine or blah, 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 where we've gone. How much would it be for one tumbled amethyst? Uh, anywhere between three and five pounds. Okay, I was going to be really lenient and say a pound and one pound fifty. Mm. Depends on the size, doesn't it? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. So three and five, see, three and five yeah. pounds again, brilliant. So even if, because I'm going, I'm going for the lowest, lowest, lowest. Even mm. if this was a pound each, one, two, three, four, five, six pounds. 
that and that's the rest of the strand <laughs> so yeah if it's between three and five pounds each then that and that's the rest of your strand <laughs> So you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21 on this strand. Works out at 29 pence each. So even if you were wow. selling on your stall and you decided to sell them for 50 pence each. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing absolutely nothing to them yeah. other than cutting them off the strand. Yep. Mm. Because you could turn each and every single one of these into a pendant, couldn't you? Yeah, or a ring. You could, yeah. Quite easily. Love it. So, for those of you who've already got it, huge congratulations. £5.95 for bargain. Get a couple if you can. Uh, Sharon's there, Janet's there, Catherine's there, Anne's there, Collector and Cardiff's there, Jane's there, Andrea's there. Well done to every one of you. There are how many? Four. Four remaining opportunities, and there is more than that in baskets. So check those baskets out. Definitely check those baskets out as soon as possible. I want to put them with the uh, amber again. Mm, nice. Love it. Hold those lines on that one. Good luck. They're going to go. Um, ooh. How about some clear quartz? We crammed it on on here, haven't they we? Have. Yeah. Only eight chances remaining on this one, I'm afraid. That is it. This is going to be on and gone. 95 carats at... £2.95. <laughs> on and gone. They're like little icicles, aren't they? They are perfect for this time of the year. And yeah. of course, because they're clear, they will go with any other gemstone. Any metal, any gemstone, any fabric, anything you want. They will look amazing. Beautiful little pinpoints of light, little droplets of joy. Really nice for rings as well. Ooh. Because and you've got the drill hole at the bottom, so they stand up and then you can just wrap lots of wire around Ooh. and they look fab. Or if you had lots of them together, dangly and moving. Yeah, like a charm yeah. type ring. Yeah. Like a, like a ring that you, you rattle. Rattle ring. A jingle jangle ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of year, so why not jingle jangle? Let's do it. Jingle jangle. They're gone. They are gone. Of course they're gone. Now, this is Shiva Eye. Shiva. Now, this is the reason it's called Shiva Eye, isn't it? Because it looks like an eye. Mm. But I prefer the other side. So that's one side. I like this side. I like that side. I love this side. Shiva. Pretty. Mm hmm they are fabulous. You are getting an assortment of them. You're guaranteed to get eight. I've got on my desk here, I've got five. On the screen, you're seeing four. It depends on the size. So the bigger the eye is, the fewer you're going to get. The smaller it is, the more you're going to get. They are really lovely, aren't they? They are. It's almost like someone's painted yeah. a shell rather than it being an actual shell. And again, they're really tactile and, and just really nice to hold. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Wonderful look. So you've got that wonderful shell a uh, uh, look to it. But it is stone. Isn't it? Yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I love that sound. Four left as well. I'd want to make this into a Newton's Cradle. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Not many are left, though, I'm afraid. Five pounds. Paul's got his. Well done, my darling. Tracy's got hers. Helen's got hers as well. Well done. Oh, hello. They're durable. That's good to know. <laughs> I love the smoothness of it. I love the density as well. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, now I have got, ooh, some rose gold tubes. Oh, I was looking at these earlier. Are these the twisty ones? No. <gasps> these are straight. 
They're not the ones I was They're looking at. They're not the ones you're looking at now. Uh, Rose These gold plates at 95 cute. sterling silver tubes, and they are tiny price, 10 of them for £2.95. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on and gone as well, aren't they, at those kind of prices? Mm. So rose gold, 18 karat rose gold over the surface of your 925 sterling silver. Beautifully done. Great little spacers. Yeah. And there's so many strands that we've had that would work really well with these. Yes. And space yeah. these out. The Peruvian opal that we've just had, that, that blue with the rose gold. Absolutely perfect. In fact, I'd want to put the Peruvian opal and the Shiva oh. eye with it. Holiday. Nice. Holiday. They are gorgeous. So, now there's only 20 remaining opportunities on this one, and that is it. If you see it, you like it, you love it, you want it, grab it. Somebody's bought four. Who's bought four? Oh, anonymous. Mm. Anonymous. Oh. In Gloucestershire. Well done, I don't blame you. £2.95. That is a bargain of a price, isn't it? It is, yeah. The silver? Yeah. Claire's bought two as well. In Greater Manchester. Well done to you, my darling. They just, it's just, there's so many things you can do with them. They're a great little stash builder, and you will find, you will, if you can't think straight away, there's something to do with them, you will find ways to incorporate them into your jewellery. Uh, Collector in Cumbria's got two as well. <laughs> bargain. Now, I'm going to leave those there with you because I've got a ruby cab to bring to you. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'm going home in a ruby cab. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> so, we have got a ruby cab. Not a ruby cab cab, but a ruby cab. Six carats of ruby. All natural. No treatment. For seven pounds ninety-five. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. And the beauty of this one is you are actually seeing the growth marks on the you see the shape, but you can actually make out the structure. Oh, yes. You make out the crystal structure of it. Almost like tree rings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You can actually see? It's one, of the, it's one of the, if you're looking at raw ruby, oh. it's one of the identifying factors of a ruby. Well, no. I didn't know that. Yeah, they can form in sort of, sometimes it can be almost triangular and sometimes mm. it's like a, uh, is it hexagon? Six sides for a hexagon. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that kind of a look yeah. to it. Yeah, they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You get the same markings in uh, sapphire as well. Mm. So, of course, the corundums. Yeah. Oh, man. Nice. And if, you, if you look at tourmaline, if you look at raw tourmaline, tourmaline has lines yes, straight down. Yes, linear. And, yeah. yeah, they've got it's uh, called striations down it. Mm. Um, and if you look at quartz, it has it in the opposite direction. Oh, okay. So they go that way, horizontal, and tourmaline goes vertically. Mm. Mm. Bit of boring information there for you. No, it's interesting. I like it. Yeah. Now I'm going to recap because, believe it or not, how I do not know, we still have some cabs remaining. The Lapis Lazuli cabs. I cannot believe it. That was <laughs> awful, wasn't it? Again, always, always with the awful jokes. <laughs> I cannot believe it. So we have got a whole 980 carats of natural lapis lazuli for £19.95. You will get a variety of them. Can't guarantee how many you're going to get. Depends on the size of them, of course. Your average carrot weight on these ones was 35 carats each, wasn't it? Was it Which is 37? Bananas. Was it 37? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It was around It that. was around 30 <laughs> to 37. Let's, let's say that. That's probably the easiest. Um, and it isn't only an average anyway. Uh, yeah. Look at this. I love this one. That 
blue is amazing. It is amazing. I love the banding on that one. I think that's really unusual for a lapis. Yeah. And, there's just, and this one as well. Gorgeous. It's almost like the, the sea hitting the shawl. It is, yeah. Yeah. It's so nice Landscape. to see the variations. With waves coming up yeah. as well there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and this one. So oh, lovely. I mean, you'd look at this and you wouldn't instantly go, all lapis, because of the look. It's got this mm. wonderful... It's almost a soda light. Soda light, yeah. yeah. Almost soda like Stone wash, almost. And then this one, it's got a lightning bolt. That was my impression of lightning. Oh. That's nice, isn't it? I mean, this is where you look at the pieces and you go, that's going to tell me to do this with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Each one's different, each one's individual, so you can just look at it and go, oh, that, that deserves to be a cab pendant, or oh, yeah. that deserves to be wrapped, or oh, that deserves to be dot, dot, dot. Well, it's like what I was saying about the, um, the Labradorite and the um, Botswana Agate. Have a look at the stone and see what they're telling you yes. they want to be or what they want to be with. Be a stone whisperer. Be a st yeah. Hit to be a rectangle. <laughs> Make me into a bracelet. 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 <laughs> That's saying brooch to me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Brooch. Be a brooch. Now, darling, first of all, thank you very much. Hello. You're amazing. I'm going to hug you. Oh, me, 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 me. You smell amazing. Thanks. Mm. Uh, when are you back on again? At uh, 14th for a late show. Yeah. I forgot like a 14th? week or something off. I don't know. It's I don't know what day away. it is today. It's the seventh today, isn't it? Isn't it eighth seventh? today. Is it the, oh, it's the 8th, yes. 14th, so it's a Tuesday. Tuesday, very nice, very nice. And do you know what you'll be doing? Um, no, I can't remember. Oh, good, <laughs> oh, good. Now, on the screen, we did have... <gasps> no, I can remember. No, I'm sure about... that's DVD. They're not there. Isn't the 14th DVD launch? Yeah. Seed bead rings. Seed bead very nice mm. now on the screen you've got gold jump rings uh, they're not on my desk at the moment but there was a hundred of them they are brass gold called brass and you're looking at a hundred in a pack for one pound works out a penny each so the gorgeous dad will be with us on the 14th, 14th. I was gonna say 16th for some reason um, so and it's seed bead rings yeah yeah seed bead rings that day for my DVD launch really? so have you got any workshops it, coming up? Um, we've, we're booking some in, so there mm. are some coming up. Crochet one and hair garlands and some others. Brilliant, but, so take a yeah. look at the website for those. Now, it's going to be amazing tomorrow. It's going to be amazing in the morning. It's going to be amazing all day. And then you've got me in the evening. So I'll be with you <laughs> again tomorrow evening, which, of course, is going to be amazing again. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much to you for being incredible. Thank you. And love to every single one of you. Get yourself a cup of cocoa. Mwah. Good night. <laughs>